What's your favorite light novel? Mine is Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned How to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. I know you guys love um, the... <laughs> just starting right into it. I know you love the fever dream jokes that my brain comes up with. Um, obviously, the, the all-time classic is why do they keep making juice in cartons? How are you supposed to get the juice out of the corners? I woke up at um, 12.30, which is not like... I, I went to bed at like 10.45. I woke up at 12.30 when my daughter was crying a little bit. And there was just one singular line in my brain. And it was, it was this, and it's like verbatim, word for word. <clears throat> and I quote, Was Barbieheimer like a good dad? Or was he one of those guys too distracted building his atomic wall or whatever? And I just kept, like, my brain just kept repeating it over and over and over and over. Was Barbieheimer like a good dad, or was he one of those guys too distracted building his atomic wall or whatever? I have no idea where it came from. I guess, obviously, there's been a lot of Barbie and Oppenheimer content on social media lately. I don't know. The brain is a mysterious thing. It's a mysterious thing. Why are people talking so much about these two movies? I don't know. It's like a, you know, imagine if Snakes on a Plane came out, but it was actually good. At least from what, what the critics are saying. I am laughing at all the Oppenheimer discourse. None of these motherfuckers have seen the movies. They're like, why are they glorifying Oppenheimer? Have you seen all the promo material? The dude's in like a, a dimly lit room holding his face. People are like, I really hope Oppenheimer shows. I, why are we making movies that glorify the construction of the atomic bomb? I'm like, excuse me. Are you trying to tell me that there were negative consequences to the atomic bomb? This is the first I'm hearing about it. The film is very pro-nuke. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I bet, because it's Christopher Nolan, I bet the film doesn't take a stand. By the way, you, you guys don't even know what it's like. If they made Oppenheimer in 1994, it would have been the most like rah, rah, we rule, the enemies drool movie ever made. It would be an inspiring story about how like eight plucky scientists came together to win the war single-handedly and dropped a bomb on the bad guys. You know, we're, we're living in a much more nuanced era now. Where, like, I'm sure he's going to build the nuke and then he's going to, like, be sad. In 1995, it would have won Best Picture. And it would have, like, exclusively been... You, you people would have been in tears. They would be like, I didn't think that those eight scientists could get the job done. What do you think kissed by a rose on the gray means? It's very true. It's very true. What do you think kissed, on the, kissed by a rose on the gray? I do, but I mean, like following the, my literary sensibilities tell me that when you are kissed by a rose, it means you are simply breast, uh, <laughs> you're blessed to be in the presence of something beautiful. 
Um, on the gray, I don't know, is maybe like a, a, a dull part of, of your existence, a dull part of your personality, a dull part of your life, a dull part of your body. I don't know. I think if you're kissed by a rose on the gray, it's like in Pleasantville when the people who are in black and white all of a sudden start to be in technicolor after they find out about the existence of the female orgasm. I think that's what it is. I, th I think it's that previously your life was uh, in muted monochrome and uh, being kissed by a rose has given it a little bit of a blush of color, shall we say. That's how I take it, at least. I mean, just follow it. There used to be a graying tower. That's him alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. I can't hit that last note. Love remained. A drug? <laughs> That's the high, but not the pill. Now that one, I got I to gotta tease that one a little bit. A drug that's the high and not the pill. But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can be... It's a song and a half. There's no doubt about that. It's so fucking funny that that's from the Batman Forever soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is there any other example of a song that crazy good being from such a weird fucking movie? Okay, I, I do agree. Justin Timberlake's um, Can't Fight the Feeling from Trolls is, I don't think it's as good of a song as Kiss from a Rose. But still, Happy from Pharrell Williams being in Minions. Well, I don't think Happy is a very good song. But maybe that's just because I was alive when it came out, unlike most people in my chat, so I had to listen to it four times every time I went to the grocery store. Pop star never stop popping. Fuck Bin Laden. So true. 20, 2016. <laughs> anyway. You don't understand what it's like to be in school when Happy came out and forced to dance to it for more than three school performances? Uh, there's some truth to that, I suppose. There's some truth to that. Being forced to dance in school was really, it's wild. I know we're just wasting time here, but I, <laughs> I have two stories. I've always thought that the art should stand on its own merits. I'm not anti other people dancing. But you know, in like second grade, when you sing songs, there would always be corresponding actions that you were supposed to do. I remember we were singing like little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. We had all the actions and I wasn't doing the actions because I thought that the music stood on its own merits. And then um, a girl, I don't even remember what girl it was, but she was across the circle from me and she pointed at me and was like, you're not doing the actions. And I just kept not doing the actions. I kept just singing the song. And then she put up her hand and she was like, Ryan's not doing the actions. And then the teacher made me do the actions, which is crazy. And then there's a, I don't know if this is from kindergarten or first grade, but my parents have like a home video. And I, I'm not going to say the girl's name because she was like six years old, just like me. But we're singing songs. At the assembly, I'm not doing the actions and she keeps hitting me. She keeps slapping me on the shoulder, being like, do the actions. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do the actions. My parents show me the video like once every two times I'm back. 
I don't like the actions, man. Is it funny? Yeah, it's funny. Like, I'm not mad about it, but I was kind of, I was ticked off about it when I was in kindergarten. There's no way in second grade you thought this song stands on its own. Brother, I think that... <laughs> I'm starting to realize that I might not be neurotypical. Because definitely in second grade, I, th I remember having that single cogent thought. I also remember being like, um, I don't want picture books because I can already like picture what's happening in the book in my brain. I, why would I need... Because then like... I have my own idea of what this book is, the pictures that are being painted, what the characters look like, the situations. And then you got like a pic, what is this picture doing here? You're just making the book like twice as much, take twice as much paper for no reason. Stop calling it the actions, it's dancing. What are you talking about? It's not, it's not dancing. When you just like, your, your feet, are anchored in one position on the floor and you're just doing like acting out the the meaning of the words with your hands like the happy hands club from napoleon dynamite those are actions it's not dancing dancing requires at least the slightest hip movement in my personal opinion. I walked in on my mom and her friend when I was six years old while they were doing actions. Okay, who asked? Probably had like, you know, a, a three minute window to get down once a week your needy ass was like, yeah, I'll sit here and watch Barney. 90 seconds later, you're like, Mom, I need you right now. It somehow is their fault that you walked in on them. It doesn't make any sense. I used to hear clapping at 2 a.m. constantly as a child. Did you live next to a nightclub? Or like a NHL stadium in the playoffs where they were playing until quadruple overtime? Or <laughs> did you, were you sleeping inside of an airplane? Did you live on an airplane that was landing? I ate my first chicken nugget at 18. No, I don't believe this. I'm sorry. I believe that there are people... Sometimes I think th that the audience conflates my statement when I say something like that. I don't believe that there's nobody on earth who ate chicken nuggets for the first time at the age of 18. There's all sorts of, you know, 8 billion people. All sorts of crazy individuals out there with unique experiences. I just don't believe that you're the... I don't think you're the person that had chicken nuggets for the first time at age 18. I know a girl that's never eaten grapes. I know a 30-year-old who's never eaten a strawberry. I'm 25 and I've never had a Coke or a Pepsi. I'm trying to, I bet I have something like that. I mean, for a while it was mac and cheese. I had mac and cheese for the first time at like age 27 or something. I guess that would be almost as weird as not having a chicken nugget for a lot of people. It's worse. Yeah, I know mac and cheese is a lot worse than chicken nuggets. That's why I ate way more chicken nuggets than mac and cheese. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. Canadian who doesn't like craft dinner? I didn't say I don't like craft dinner. I just said I've never had it. I don't know if I like it. 
I'm just not that interested in the mac and cheese, honestly. We should start doing some gaming. I don't know if we're doing Jackbox today. It looks like we are not doing Jackbox today. Hang on, I've got a reply to this message. Me, are we playing Jackbox today? Justin, I didn't think we were, so I told Apollo I'd Valo. Whole Wednesday. We were supposed to bully Apollo for playing Valo and not London. Not join him for Valorant based hijinks. I think is a good word. What's worse for society, Valorant or opiates? Valorant, 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 Valorant. I thought so. I'm not saying that Valorant's worse than opiates. That's what Chad is saying, okay? Developers, 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 developers. That's true. One fixes pain. <laughs> I don't know if that's the verbiage I would use, but I guess technically. One manages pain and one causes pain. So true, so true. Maybe I'm just the boomer and I like I whenever I see someone play Valorant, even when they're winning, they're having a horrible time. But maybe I'm operating on an antiquated idea that games should always be recreational. Like when you watch a movie, you don't all if, if someone said I only watch movies that make me feel good, I would be like, you're nine years old. You need to grow up and have like a more advanced media diet. You know, watch some stuff that makes you uncomfortable. Watch some stuff that, that creates a greater depth of emotion in yourself. Watch some stuff that, that teaches you something. When someone plays a video game that teaches them, like, the depth of human misery, I'm like, bro, why don't you just play, like, uh, something else instead? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Holy cow, listen to this. Oh, it just, sorry, it's... I forgot it's a Japanese game, so if you ever uh, click on anything, it takes you into, like, a... Uh, a sub menu with a different song and uh, you know I had another joke brewing today the joke is like Japanese games will be like um, well let, let me alt tab to get the music a little lower Japanese games will be like featuring a rich story campaign and 17 other modes including the options menu a sound test menu and the credits North American games will be like Experience high-octane gameplay across 35 meaningfully different multiplayer, single-player, co-op modes, online, offline, etc., etc. And then the Japanese game will be good, and the North American game will be bad. How messed up is that? I don't get it. I feel like any time I play a Japanese PC game, the second bullet point in the features list is always something ridiculous. Like, you can save the game. The second bullet point for like a triple A North American game is always like featuring over 935 photorealistic maps at a one to two scale replica of real European battlefields. And Japan, third bullet point is like four unique songs. And then the North American game is like a four out of ten. And the Japanese game is like an 8.2. I think they're closer to figuring it out over there. So true, Japan, Japan. Are you gonna play Remnant 2 today? Wait a minute, does it come out today? 
I don't know, maybe. How many gigabytes is it? Much It comes out at 4.30? No, I'm not going to play it today. But maybe I'll play it next week. I got to get the title of this game in my brain. Because it's long, bro. It is a long boy. <laughs> the long title. Pardon me. I just have to say, I, is it? I, listen. Japanese games will also be like, sorry, we don't get captured by uh, game capture. That's another thing that we have to fit in. Oh, never mind. It totally worked. Okay. <clears throat> Slash marker. Those games. Okay, you gotta give me a second here, stream, because I gotta do like a little bit of an, an alt tab, okay? Because this is the longest game name that has ever existed in humanity, on Earth, etc., etc., etc. The game is called, <clears throat> yeah, you want those games, right? So here you go. Now let's see you clear them. What the heck is it about? Well, you know how like when you see a, a mobile game advertisement, it's always those insane mini games that are like, which one of these uh, pins should you pull in order to not have your dude get uh, immersed in liquid hot magma? This is a game that posits, what if those games were real instead of just lies? Because basically, it's always like, um, hey, but what, what, hey what, what Erlenmeyer flask should you pour the liquid into to, to fill it up? And then you buy it yourself or you play it yourself. And it's like, you know, Age of Empires 1. But anytime you want to get a Wololo, you have to put in your mom's credit card number. So that's, it, it just looked interesting. So we're going we're gonna to give it a try here, okay? Take me to minigames. You got pin pull. You got Number Tower. You got Parking Lot, Cash Run, and Color Lab. Now I'll say, I, I don't get uh, caught by these ads, but if there was ever an ad for mobile games that infuriates me to the point where I want to download it myself, it's not the, you know, can you climb up here? It's not, can you pull the pin? It's always the one that's like, um, Someone is like running, it's an endless runner, and there's two paths that you can take, and there's gates. And then the gate is like, multiply the amount of people you have running by a hundred, or like add one, and they always run through the add one, and I'm like, what are you doing? They like, oh, times a hundred, plus one, times a hundred, plus one, plus one. And I'm like, you are, you've lost your mind. Anyway, let's start here. Find the treasure. Okay, personally, I would pull on both of these. I am a genius. If there's treasure, Stickman will find it if you remove the pin. Be careful not to collapse from exhaustion if the treasure is still blocked. <laughs> IQ plus one, let's go! You earned 500 coins. Clear time, four seconds, come on. You earned $1,000. Title plate unlocked in the main menu. Gotcha unlocked in the main menu. Holy cow. All right, how about don't get uh, killed by the rock falling on your head? He's incredible. Rocks will break apart and disappear if they fall on things other than pins. Stickman can get hurt by them, so only use them to hit enemies. Okay, I, I will just start you from the beginning here. You don't need to give me this many uh, screens after I complete the puzzle, okay? It's just a little bit... <laughs> I just click once and then it's like, BOOM! You're amazing. Wolves will take a bite out of the stickman if the pin blocking them is removed. Okay, I get it. That's part of the charm. What can I say? I'm already at a, what is this, 3 IQ? All right, you ready? I think we're gonna drop a rock on the wolf, thus killing it, and then we're free to go. You got to go a little faster because we almost lost our third star there.
I hate to say this, I just, I've got to know what kind of person would take more than 40 seconds in order to complete this level. That's, that scares me. <laughs> okay, I would, uh, it's impossible, it can't be done. I would drop this rock on the, on the dog. I thought that would get both, honestly. Then I would drop this rock on the dog. And then in the pro, um, we're only going to get two stars on this one. How embarrassing is that? You gotta do it in under 13 seconds. Well, if the rocks fell faster, like it wouldn't, that wouldn't have been a problem. Find the treasure. Okay, what's going on here? I guess we didn't even need to do that now that I think about it, but at least we learned something about the, the wizard. Hunters will kick wolves if the pin blocking them is removed. I gotta be honest with you. Maybe it's good that when you download these mobile games, uh, they... I gotcha. They are nothing like the actual, uh, ad. Cause the ad <laughs> game is not that interesting. <laughs> Maybe the appeal of the advertisements is that you lose your mind thinking you're so much smarter than the other person. That, that, that seems to be the reality of the situation here. Hang on, I'm gonna drop this thing on your frickin' noggin, bro. I imagine a hunter would probably hurt me. Oh, come on! Five milliseconds too short? I'm gonna play it up to 10, okay? Well, th this is simply impossible. This one can't be done. Never mind, I think I got it. What the heck? Run, brother. Oh, no! <laughs> Failed. That's embarrassing. Okay, retry me. This it can't be done. It can't. Oh, I, I know what we got to do. We got to do this and this. Let the hunter kill kill both of them and then drop the rock on his head. Okay. And then we go. Okay, and you can make it in time for three stars. Holy cow! That one was borderline impossible. The hunter became the hunted. So true. Jungle Land by Bruce Springsteen. Um, there's too many elements at play here. I would drop both dogs ASAP, Schrader. Drop the rock on your head, drop the treasure, and then we're going. We're going, yeah, come on, rush it, brother! All right, well, I think we've pretty much mastered the pin game. Let's get out of here. I'm certainly, no disrespect to the game, I am definitely not going to play 50 levels of that. You have lost your mind if you think that I'm going to play 50 levels of that. But I will go to, I'll, I'll update my title plate and look at this. I'll be, uh, I'll be Stickman Rookie. Ho Borvet. That's all I got. And then I'll go to the gotcha and for a, a thousand I can spin. You want a title, sweet. Spin for 3,000? Girl, spin for three, that's expensive, man. Head honcho. Creature, all right. I'll go back to my title plate if you don't mind and I'll say that I am a sweet creature. That's me, sweet creature, whole boar vet. Now, which one looks the most interesting? I gotta say it's probably parking lot. Get all the cars out of the parking lot. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually a little scared. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you could just go, you could go however you choose to go. That's fine. Am I crazy? You could start at level 14 now if you wanted to. I won started. How embarrassing. Well, to be honest, I won started partly because of the controls. Because uh, you have to click on the car and then you use the arrow keys to choose the direction. You don't click on the arrow. So I, I blame a little, I'm going Don Norman style on that one and I'm blaming the interface. So this game is so um, easy that I don't even understand what the puzzle is. 
Because right now the puzzle just seems like you're just clicking on each car and pressing a button. So maybe you should start me on level 11. Oh, no! Okay, why don't you go here? And then, like, so, whoops, you go out. You go here. You go here. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, you guys gotta go too. I thought it was just the red cars. I, I know exactly what to do here. You, you're you going. Whoops, wrong way. You, you can leave. You can leave. You can leave. You're free. He's crazy. What, that's supposed to be hard? This sort of thing is my bag, baby. No, not really. Okay. What, what the hell is this yellow car, dude? Is this the Cybertruck? Because <laughs> it's... You have to hit down to go forward. Like, I'm driving from the car's position. As if I were the car. It feels weird to hit... I mean, I get that you're hitting down to go down. But, like, I, I, I'm sorry to tell you this. Never mind. I thought it was impossible. It turns out it's very possible. And then you're free, which means you're free, which means you're free. You guys are all free. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're. F I don't. I don't get it. Like I don't. I don't get. I guess the whole point of the game is that it's not hard. But like this is not even a puzzle. You just. You just exit the parking lot. Like this is literally just like trying to leave. The Richmond Costco. I guess and now we got a little bit of a puzzle because you don't want to uh, kill this guy. Everybody's mocking me for my, my one-star performances. Well, guess what? There's a two-star for you. Watch out for the baddies. They roam the area with knives and will be very angry if you hit them with a car. <laughs> Me when I get hit with a car? <laughs> I can I get a, a replay on that clip? I don't think I hit him, man. With God as my witness, I don't think I hit that man. I gotta check his hitbox. Somebody check him PC. That's a three star if I've ever seen one. Oh, come on, get the lead out, Grandma! I'm sorry, I just, I, I think we've pretty much mastered parking lot. I, I literally just don't get it. Stack your cash to get over the obstacles. <laughs> I simply don't understand it. We have to unlock every single one of these individually with its own animation? Like, that's... It's just laborious, man. This is crazy. <laughs> the new stage unlocked with your accumulated... Uh, your accumulated IQ. Okay. I guess I would probably... Me, personally, I would choose to study here. Oh, oh! All right, you know what? There's some satisfaction in this one. Testing your luck is always about risk and reward. It's not always about easy money, so choose your gate wisely. I don't, I still don't really get it. <laughs> I guess I would rather have vaccine than virus, personally. Sorry if that's controversial. I am now rich. Um, I'm gonna go over the lava. Me personally, I'd like to make it over the lava. And then maybe I'll get another vaccine. I've made it all the way to celebrity status. Holy cow. 
I need that extra bit of- Oh no, I'm dead! I fell on the spikes. Poor. But the vaccine has made me rich. Oh, but then the virus simply returned me to normal status. That's unfortunate, I suppose. But now we're rich again, so you don't even have to worry about it. Rich people always be like, um, stacking up all of their money in garment boxes and then carrying it everywhere they go. Oh! Clear, come on, clear it, clear it. Oh! Two girlfriends. Well, 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 two girlfriends. Twins, Basil. Take me to number 19. Holy cow, they're, they're not messing around with this one. Why don't you start me up with a little studying? It raises our money by 100%. And then I'm gonna stack some more cash. I've made a horrible mistake. I've been impaled on spikes and killed. Gamble. All right. Uh, first, I'm going to die, if you don't mind. I'm going to die by walking into a fence twice, getting a virus, and then walking into the fence for the third time. We go again. What? The, what? Oh. It's not going that well, lads. I just fell in the boiling ketchup. Just like the ads. 50%. Oh. Oh, I'm rich, I'm dead! Me, when I'm on that submarine, I'm sorry. It's just the first thing that popped into my head. It's kind of tasteless. Listen, I'm not a gambling Andy. I'll study to simply double my wealth. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Please. He's the guy from the ads. I'm not the guy from the ads. The hitbox is all is all jacked up, man. The hitbox ain't right. I will study once more. Oh, as a toll walker. When someone's toes touch solid ground and not boiling ketchup, I'm like, that shouldn't count as a fall. It's just because you guys are like, yeah, see, because you're heel walkers, that would kill you, but it wouldn't kill me because I'm built different. Please, sir. Kate, what are you talking about? I'm doing my best. I'm trying to, you want me to spend money to be safe? It's not like when you go to Disney World, they're like, the seatbelts are an extra 50 bucks a person. Well, don't give him any ideas. There you go. There you go. I'm safe. But I'm gonna look at this. As a result, I had a one-star performance. I don't think I'm getting two wives on this one. Merely a one wife and a beach house. How can a man be content with only that? Okay, take me to level 22. Can I say something without people getting mad at me? I feel like this one's actually kind of fun. He loves it. Like, what the hell did the numbers... Oh my god, why wouldn't you... That's not how physics works. I landed on top of the... On top of the brick wall. It should have just kept walking. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> what the hell does angel money 100% mean? Versus... I guess angel money is like your money died. But vaccine is like... Uh, your money gets doubled. Kind of. Even though it did not get doubled. <laughs> Holy. Lady luck. We're so back. We gotta go back to the gotcha, man. 
I don't, my IQ's not high enough. My IQ's not high enough to do the, the last levels. I gotta beat the final boss. Oh, you piece of crap! I saved, saved. I honestly thought we were dead. I didn't know you could bail out of that. I used uh, directional influence. Okay, I mean, there's no doubt we're gambling on this one. How did that go? Did that go well? I'm doing a robbery. I've lost all my money. Okay, um, end it all. We might as well restart. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. It's so funny that like some of them are spikes and some of them are traffic cones. But they both kill you. Maybe the spikes kill you instantly and the traffic cones merely cause you psychic damage. <laughs> okay, grab it. Then I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to work. I'm not going to participate in a robbery. I'm going to work. Oh! He's going all the way. Sorry, two wives. I mean, hello, two wives. We're going to the... We're, it's two... I think two women is enough for any man to be satisfied. I can't, I, I need to raise my IQ by one more. He's got two wives. How much smarter could he be? What the hell's going on? Did you see that there was like a, a star road skip up there? Stop it. All study me now. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. He, oh, oh, what the hell? I'm at, stun locked. And then... Brrr, that's like a one-star... That's a two-star performance. I'd love to restart on that one. He's a one-wife Andy. Yeah, but like... I don't know. Women be shopping. One wife equals half the, the expenses on sushi, right? That's what I've always said. Oh, okay. Normal. One study equals I'm normal. Give me some cash. Oh, this one's like borderline impossible. Get vaccinated. Life's full of choices. Study or casino. I'm going to study. And then it's full of choices like get the vaccine or get the virus. I'm going to choose to get the vaccine here. Then I'm going to go to work. And this is probably like the highest score that's ever been. Oh, I'm gorgeous. I progressed from rich to gorgeous. But still did not get three stars. Oh! <laughs> Six wives? Holy. Who am I, Spider-Man? Okay, take me out of here. I'm not sure about this game. Oh, uh, to be honest with you. Spin, spin me. This is why I hate video games. They're all about the male power fantasy. Sustainable. Teacher. Where's bald? Couple, all right. Mini games. Take me to the color lab. That was a pretty good one. All right, maybe go get a snack. Our IQ is 23, so we're we're like two thirds of the way there almost. <laughs> there you go. We made it. Start me on level 25. Am I crazy to think that this seems a thousand times harder? Or wait, maybe I'm a genius. It turns out I'm a genius in the color laboratory. This is a game for toddlers. What are you talking about? I just earned a thousand coins for doing the first color lab and you're jealous, I think is what's happening here. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, 
Toddlers. Also, I'll tell you, I have a toddler. This is not a game for toddlers. My, my two and a half year old cannot play this. It's literally just matching colors. No, I'm, it's Tower of Hanoi. You guys love Bioware games. You're always like, oh, play Bioware games. Play Mass Effect Andromeda. It's my favorite game ever. Meanwhile, we're doing Tower of Hanoi in the most distilled and pogridge format you could possibly get. And people are like, oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's for little kids. Uh, this is not even possible. Uh, never mind. I think I just solved it. They literally make toys of this for babies. They literally don't make toys of this for babies. I'm a grown man, okay? I think honestly, you're probably just a little bit jealous that I'm no longer the guy in the ads. I don't think we need to play Color Lab anymore, honestly. <laughs> We've made our point in Color Lab. What else we got here? Number Tower. Number Tower is the last one. <laughs> yes, no. Forgot we gotta spend 10 minutes here first. Do a high level pin pull? Uh, pin pull is not my game. If we were doing the pentathlon at the Olympics, honestly, I think, truth be told, my color lab gaming is like Olympian level. My pin pull gaming is maybe like NCAA Division I athlete. What the hell is this? I'm dead. <laughs> um, I guess I would like to fight the number eight. And then number 17. He's the ad guy. I guess after that I would probably fight the number 19 personally. Maybe that's just me. He's literally just counting numbers. Oh man. <laughs> I guess first I would probably like... Hit you with one of those. And then... I don't know. Probably like I could kill any of you. Do I have to divide my own sword by three at some point? Like, that's a little spicy. I don't want to do that. I guess I have, I'll do it here so that I still maintain enough to kill this fool right here. Holy cow, I'm crazy. And then I, I crush you. And then I crush you. Please, just a little faster, please. Multiply my attack by two and then kill this dancing ogre. We've lost our way in society. You're telling me I gotta grind out Three more of those levels at a three star. That's crazy. High level pins, please. I'm just going to be honest. I think that like for a game design standpoint, it's very humorous that they made a game. That is like, what if the mobile game ads were real? It's absolutely miserable to play though. <laughs> no! Ad guy, ad guy. Hang on, retry me? You should divide me by two first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you should add 25. I would only play these games while taking a dump. I mean, you could just play, like, good games while taking a dump, though. They've got some, they got some good mobile games these days. 
Pokemon Sleep. That's a, that's a fun one to play while you're taking a dump. Can I tell you I have a, a tragic story for you? I played Pokemon Go yesterday for like the first time in probably three or four months. I used my daily incense while taking my daughter out for a nap in her stroller. I encountered a Galarian Zapdos, okay? It's like a super low percentage chance to encounter one of those birds. I hit it with a golden raspberry, waited for a good opportunity to throw a great curveball, threw a, threw a curveball that was not great. Dude popped out of the ball in one millisecond and 99% of the time they run away right after that but he stayed. So I hit him with a golden raspberry and I made sure to use all my focus to hit him with a great curveball. I hit him with a great curveball. Not excellent, but great. He popped out of the ball in 0.1 milliseconds and then flew away. <laughs> they have a really high like run rate or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But then I was like, this is fun. He said, I'd rather multiply you by two before minusing ten. Why are you playing Pokemon Go in 2023? It's just a fun game to play when you have to take your kid for like a walk. F, F, F. What are you talking? This is not F. I think, honestly, Chad, you're the guy in the ads. Look at this. I, I, I killed this fool. It's over. You're the, yeah, see, you're the ad guy. You're like 40 years old? What what should I be doing on my walks with my with my kid then, as a as a 34 year old man who by the way is not nearly 40? Because if I'm 34 and I'm nearly 40, your 19 year old ass is actually like 12 years old. So you know I'm just saying if we're all treating each other equally, taxes. That's what I did the first six months of the year. I'm not like normal streamers. I finished my taxes on time, so I didn't have to be like oh. IRS, please, uh, waive the penalty for late filing. Okay, what's your mitigating circumstance? I didn't want to do them! I didn't want to! This is a pretty fun game. There's stocks? No, bro, you just buy and hodl. I don't I don't think this one's losable. You could just like walk. I mean, listen, I I've gone on walks without Pokemon Go. According to Pokemon Go, with the app open, I have walked 2.1 million meters, okay? Two megameters. At some point, you're gonna need a little bit of distraction just to keep your, your head in a good place. I can't believe I'm actually thinking about just playing level 35 right here. <laughs> you have it on, do you have it in the car? No! I don't play Pokemon Go while I'm driving. What do you think this is, 2016? 1300 miles? Yeah, 13, I played 1300 miles of Pokemon Go. It's normal. You go on a walk. You got your headphones in listening to a podcast. You're pushing a stroller. You're out there for like 90 minutes. No big deal. What's the... Pr I don't understand the problem here. People be like, wow, you're playing a game while you're outside. Have you ever considered that you could just not be playing a game? Have you ever considered shutting your mouth? Okay, spin me for 3,000. Gamer. 
Lizard. <laughs> I can't play this anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, this is... Let's listen. I get the joke. Come on. I just don't have the mental toughness for this, quite frankly. Yeah, you want those games, right? So here you go. Now let's see you clear them. This came out on Steam today. It's 13 Canadian dollars. I get the joke and I respect the joke. It's not their fault that the game is not fun to play. Because the point is, it's not supposed to be fun to play. Because the ads suck. One high-level pin pull? I'm not sure I'm cut out for that, okay? Holy cow, you can click and skip the animations. What the hell is this? Destroy everything? How am I gonna destroy this boy up here? <laughs> Step one, pull this pin. He got melted by the lava. You gotta fall over the- Oh, you know what? I gotta get you to like chase me or something. Lads, I think I'm cooked. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> like, a, this goblin's gonna freaking eat me down here. Okay. Retry me. Okay, this is so doable. I need this guy to ch You need to die. I need to drop some lava on you so that you pass away. But if I pull any of these, I will be killed. <laughs> It's not possible. This is this they've built an impossible level as a joke. Get melted. Don't worry. I got it all figured out. Looks a little bit like this. Oh, come on, just move to the right a little bit. It's got to be like that. That way the lava moves opposite wise from me. Then I can pull this without being killed. Oh my God, literally just move slightly to the side. The finger tells you what to pull. False. Although maybe we should slow down. Oh! You know what though? I think that was a good start because check this out. Get cooked, idiot. And then then it's impossible. Never mind. Get get rid of this lava. Certainly you're going to pull that one. You're going to pull these two? <laughs> I can't I can't make it, man. I'm going to die. Oh man. I'm so close. I'm so close. Is he doing this on purpose? Listen, this is not in my skill set in real life, okay? I've never had to deal with like a bunch of goblins and the only way to get out of the situation was like um, pulling a bunch of weird pins out of the wall. Get owned. It's amazing the power a single ball of magma can have. This one's a gimme. Watch this. Pull this. Run! Go fast! Oh! Why didn't you stay up there? Click as fast as you can. Holy cow.
Just don't touch this thing, and you're fine. Oh! <laughs> Holy, that's a three-star performance if I've ever seen one. Okay, Slash Marker, those games. Let's never do that again. <laughs> oh, man. How about a little... Uh, how about a little badge hunting in Super Auto Pets? I haven't played that much of this weekly. How original? This is only the second time we played Sap this week. We played like everything else more than Sap. We actually played Ember Knights more than Sap. He hates the GeoGuessr mode? Here's my problem with the GeoGuessr roguelite. It was insanely easy. And then I, they changed it, and all of the comments were like, man, you really made it even easier, huh? So like, I, I think that like, it already needed a little bit of, of difficulty, but now they've made it even simpler. There's a new Steam game called Bonnie's Bakery. A cooking game where nothing goes wrong. Play as Bonnie. A cute baker who needs to gather ingredients so she can make pastries. Serve up your fresh homemade pastries to local townsfolk and hunt for fresh ingredients. Reviews. Let her cook. Absolutely love this game. Bonnie is such a goofy goober and definitely not a serial killer. Is this a Doki Doki Literature Club? I love this game. It's short, sweet, and charming. Nothing sinister going on here. Nope, not at all. The different modes are a lot of fun and the story is interesting. Also, Bingus. <laughs> also, I, th listen. The person who wrote that review might be 15 years old. I'm not trying to hate on them, but it very clearly had like some of the letters were capitalized. And I was like, oh, I bet there's like a spoiler if you put them together. And then at the end of the review, they wrote, by the way, there's definitely no hidden message in this review at all. Nope, definitely not. You see the clip of uh, Vinny where he's playing Viewfinder and he takes the photo and then manifests it into real life, which allows him to walk to a place that was otherwise inaccessible. And then the... Voiceover says, did you just turn a photo into real life? And then he immediately goes into the options menu and mutes the voice acting. Great clip. Great clip. It got me so good. That was it. Did you just shift reality? Oh, man. Listen. You might, you might have saved me from sap. Not that the, I mean, the weekly this week is actually really interesting. But am I going to play Bonnie's Bakery? I don't think I'm going to play Bonnie's Bakery. But then there was a Minesweeper roguelite that people told me to play. It just came out on Steam. It had a unique art style. It was called, not, not Demon Crawl. Demon Crawl is a great game. Hey, it's called Let's Revolution. Thank you. Thank you. Balatro? People will be like diehard Balatro fans. They don't even follow uh, the Balatro news. I, my, my key has not been revoked, but it's about to be revoked. The developer politely asked me to wait until the game's closer to being ready to go. No, put, put me back in. I was in, the person in charge of making sure uh, Steam gets updated every day and doesn't work anymore. Is that for some reason, I can't... There you go. Your purchase could not be completed because it looks like you already own one of the games you're trying to buy. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to click on store to take me to the store tab. But instead, I had to use the in-browser back button. Let's revolution. Let me check this out. Reviews, 96% positive. 
Let's Revolution is a colorful roguelite puzzle mashup about stopping a narcissistic king from ruining your world. Flip tiles to uncover the hidden path to the king. Use deductive reasoning to avoid his cronies or take them out in strategic turn-based combat. Add to cart. Purchase for myself. Holy cow. 1,800 Steam points for this purchase. Ooh. Your Steam point balance is 510,787. <laughs> what do you do with Steam points? If this was Nintendo points, I'm pretty sure that I could buy uh, like the company or at least get 50% off the new Mario sports game. You can get profile cosmetics. Is that why every time I see Chibli sign on to Steam, there's like fireworks that play and like he's got a sparkling gold background on his, uh, on his guy, on his bloody picture? Okay, let's revolution. You can buy card packs with those and sell them on the store? Wait, you can buy card packs with the Steam points? I'm retiring. You can't. I'm coming to work on Monday. <laughs> you hearing me? Or is that in my head? Dudes in the forest will really be like, Mama na. Let's revolution. Let's not. It, would it, I don't. Yeah. Listen, I want to make my title a play on the name of the game, so I want to call it "Let's Not" and say we did. But I think that might be considered like it primes people for thinking that I don't enjoy the game. But in reality, I haven't actually played it yet. It's mean, but it's it fits so well. <laughs> Okay, new new Twitch meta. Brand new roguelite minesweep. Brand new minesweeper. Roguelite, get in here. Me losing faith in humanity as the viewer count goes up by 30% in the next 10 minutes. Last stream, retiring. <laughs> Stream will end unless I get 150 extra viewers right now. Slash marker. Let's Revolution. Let's Revolution is a new Minesweeper type roguelite with 96% positive reviews and a beautiful art style that has been recommended to me by multiple people. Let's give it a chance here. Hey, stranger. Rotten King got you down. Well, now's your chance to rise up. He's right over there. Right over where? Okay, I, I, hang on. I think I need to move myself. Maybe like here looks good for now. Oh, who might you be? Does another loyal subject wish to kiss my ring? Can I tell you something? Um, the tile setup looks so much like the game Carcassonne. And uh, I, I could play a mean game of Catan, don't get me wrong. But Carcassonne, for some reason, just never worked with my brain. I don't think I'm... I'm willing to build the roads for the kingdom. I think I'm supposed to be the guy who works like um, in the mill before they invent the water wheel. And I'm the guy who like grabs the, the rod in the basement and just walks in a circle for like 10 hours, driving the mill so that it grinds up the, the wheat into flour. And you might say that's like torturous. I honestly think it would be kind of freeing to know that you wake up in the morning, you eat breakfast, Four hours of turning the rod, 15 minute lunch break, four hours of turning the rod, go home, eat dinner, go to bed and run the same thing back tomorrow. It's like the medieval Peloton. So true, so true. You think you'd enjoy being in a prison camp? My only question is whenever you see like a movie where they're in a prison camp, why they got them breaking rocks? What are they doing with all the broken rocks? I don't understand. They always give them like a pickaxe and they've got them all like in the desert breaking big rocks in half. Like what are they, what, 
Economic purpose could it possibly serve to be breaking the rocks in half? Gravel's important for infrastructure? Is, the, is there no naturally occurring gravel? They were, they were making artisan small batch handmade gravel? I honestly thought there were like just maybe like gravel pits in the world. There's not enough naturally occurring gravel. I'll tell you, there is in Minecraft. I wish there was less, honestly. Anyway, let's go through the tutorial. I'm stalling. Who might you be? Does, an, does another loyal subject wish to kiss my ring? Gross. Someone needs to put that good-for-nothing king in his place. Maybe you. Now, I know I said I was stalling. I'm going to stall again. Can I tell you that I love how the text pops out here? I don't know if the developers are ever going to see this. I know you had the option to just do, like, consistent rate scrolling text. I love the way it's a little, like, pop, 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 pop. Excuse you, it is forbidden to talk of the king in that tone. Let's deal with his guards first. You'll do no such thing. Guards, seize them. We'll see about that. Here you are. That's me. Select a highlighted tile to move there. Enemies will attack after a set number of turns regardless of where you are. Okay. Select this tile to move closer. I'm on the road now. This guard's clock is now full. He is about to attack. Watch and learn, soldier. Stick him. Stick him good. Enough. Close the distance so you can attack him back. Ouch, you lost the heart. Don't worry, it looks like you could take a hit. Ha, a palpable hit. Now give them a good smack for our king. Okay, here comes a big one. Time for some payback. Select roundhouse. You have selected power drive. It takes eight energy, cool down three, attack all eight surrounding tiles. Now select yourself to attack all the tiles around you. That oaf just killed him. How rude. Stop them at once. I killed you with a, with a single punch. One down, two to go. Now move up. Now I just, I, have, I do have a question. Why didn't he kill this guy? Because I thought it would attack the eight tiles directly around. Oh, it did one damage to this guy. I see. Never mind. He's got two HP. That's my mistake. One down, two to go. Now move up. Get into position to use roundhouse once more. Watch this, your majesty. I will smite them in your name. Uh-oh, roundhouse requires eight energy, and you only have four. Good thing you have an energy tonic. It's a free action, so using it won't count as a turn and cause an enemy to attack. Select the energy tonic. Now select yourself to drink it. Now select the roundhouse. You have selected power drive. Get killed. But I was supposed to be the hero! How preposterous. You will be punished. You eliminated all the skulls. Now go get the king. He has escaped Dr. Wily style. Get chased. All clear. Plus three. You know what I realized? Gamers hate tutorials. But then they love asking, how do I do this? There's something so messed up about that. Literally you? I know, I'm a gamer. I knew he was too craven to fight. He must have hid somewhere. I'm Gemma, by the way. I left the Floxians years ago and never looked back. Now I go where I want and offer personal training to those who can handle it for a small fee. The king hides at the end of this road. All of their dead ends contain something useful, like my traveling gym. Now let's find the king. Maybe you'll be the one to take him down. These icons tell you there's three skulls hiding alongside the king. You're low on energy, but you have a trait called stamina that restores energy every five tiles you go to. Gain six energy for every five tiles. Okay. Select this highlighted tile. Move there to reveal it. Good. Let's keep going. Oh, it's an enemy. Oh, no. You stepped on a hidden skull and lost a heart. So this is the minesweeper element. So there must be an enemy here as well, right? Because this had two enemies adjacent. So you're an enemy, which means you're an enemy as well, which means I'm setting up for a freaking roundhouse or something. No, numbers equal the number of road tiles, not the number of enemies. Oh, okay. Noted, noted. You can always rely on, and this is not meant to be offensive to the developers, you can always rely on chat to know all of the mechanics for a game that you just heard about yesterday. Even if it came out, it has nine reviews on Steam. 
There will be like a thousand people in chat that are like, I know how this works. Go ahead and say it. Say it. I watched Moon Moon play this. I watched Germa play this. I watched Vinny play. I watched Retro play it. There we go. Okay, I'm not, I should have known I'm not the first person to get on the wave, but I played the demo. Shut up. I got you. I'm the best. Um, just ignore him for now. He won't attack for four more turns. Listen, skulls only hide on road tiles. I see. And the numbered tiles tell you how many road tiles are nearby. The tile you're on has a three. So there, this must, one of these two must be a road, but we know that this must be a road because otherwise there's no way for there to be two. So we can avoid a road by moving to the left. Therefore, this tile can't be a road tile. You need to reveal three more tiles to gain energy. Select this tile to reveal another. That's right, run away. Your energy is low, but you can use your bow to take him out. You'll never hit me with that dumb bow. Select your bow. Something tells me I will be able to hit you with this dumb bow. Get smoked on? Well, I was wrong. <laughs> that shut him up. You're still low on energy, and the bow won't be ready for five turns because of its cooldown. Select this tile to reveal it. The tile you're on is a one, and there's one visible road, so we know everything around us is safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move to this safe tile to activate stamina. He's crazy. Your energy's full again. The six tile must have a lot of roads nearby. Let's use a skill there and see what you hit. Move to the six. Select the roundhouse. Let him have it. Holy, he's crazy. I see. So that was like, we didn't know that the enemy was there, but we could make a, a bet that the enemy was there. Because enemies only spawn on roads. There were six roads adjacent to this, and there's three enemies on the level. So it was likely that one would be there. Okay. He's a tough one. Your roundhouse has a cooldown and won't be ready for three more turns. Luckily, your bow will be ready in one turn. Use this turn to step here. Now the bow is ready. Select bow. You have selected power drive. There's only one skull left, and you've nearly cornered the king. You take it from here, I'll see you on the road. Okay. I'm guessing blue tiles are tiles we've never been to, aka we can activate stamina on them. No, blue is just where you can go. Let me see. We know this is a road tile, so that's a little spicy. If we wanted to build stamina, here's my thinking. Go to this one, we know this is safe. We know there's a zero, this is safe. This is safe. This is absolutely a road tile. It could be an enemy. Our stam's not fully back yet. Move me. We, our stam is fully back. I would say there's a strong chance there's an enemy here. Use a roundhouse right here. Get smoked on. All clear. Give me the treasure. Ooh, he's crazy. Step on tiles you ain't ever stepped on before. I'm imagining the king is likely here. My stamina has returned. I found you. He's crazy. Chase the king. You've completed the tutorial. Now try a full run with the trooper. Okay, all right. A proud warrior of flocks. Reveal tiles to recharge your powerful attacks. Defeat all enemies for a bonus. We'll play on normal difficulty and let's revolution. This does seem cool. Dead ends are always safe to reveal, so look for spots where the road must end. Enemies don't spawn on dead ends! Okay, zero. That's beautiful. That's gonna be a two, which means there's definitely a road there. And there's only one enemy. This is a zero. It's a one, which means there's definitely a road there. I guess I can't shoot adjacent to myself. Let me, let me try something. That's called process of elimination. There's definitely a road here. Step me. There's definitely a road here. Step me. There's definitely a road here. There's probably not a road here. Step me. Okay, there's definitely two roads here. My two cents. Great opportunity for a roundhouse right here. Ooh, get killed. Get smoked. I'm insane. What is this? The smith. The void offers you these gifts. Pick one. I only have six gold. Okay, frenzy. Gain one turn of plus one bonus attack every time an enemy is defeated. One turn? 
Move to a distant tile in the current row or column for three energy. Honestly, toss me a, a flying leap right here. Did I purchase it? The void is generous. I would like to learn flying leap. Thank you so much. And then we should explore everything because there might be some treasure. Goodbye, king. Level two. Dead ends either have the king or a reward. All right, okay. Three roads surround me, two enemies. I think that's a good time for a, a, an attempt here. I have killed both enemies in a single turn. I'm the best to ever do it by far. Swing by, I'll make you even better. Okay, welcome to Gemma's Gym. You know the drill, pick a slot to train. Gain two energy when the hero takes damage or gain four energy when the hero takes damage or roundhouse recharges a little bit faster. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll make roundhouse go a little bit faster. What is this art style called too? If the devs are watching, you should know this is like a, I mean this very positively. I'm a hater. I'm constantly insulting um, adult animation. I'm not talking about Kubo and the two strings who spirited away. I'm constantly insulting like Steven Universe and Bob's Burgers and stuff like that, mostly because I, I don't get them and that's fine and I'm trying to entertain people. So I maybe lay it on a little too thick sometimes. But this is like good adult animation energy. I don't know how to describe it because I don't know anything about visual art. But it's like, it's, it's got a, a sense of style that evokes that energy in a way that doesn't offend me and instead it intrigues me. All clear, plus three me. Move me, zero, one. Move me, it's a one. I am playing Minesweeper. <laughs> Hang on, we know that this is safe. I can't do this math yet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna roundhouse right here. It's maybe a low percentage chance, but give me a chance. Hey mate, I've got B-Bomb's finest wares right here. All right, take me to Chovy's shop. We can buy max health plus one, max energy plus two, restock our bow, or get a special smoke screen. Hide in a th hide a three by three area of tiles, centered on the hero and gain hidden. You know what? Give me just give me max energy plus two for now. That seems seems more relevant for us immediately. Now there's one road surrounding you, which means that we're safe here. It also means we're safe here. It also means this is definitely a space. Now, take me back for a second. It's Minesweeper style. This is definitely not a road. This is definitely an insane opportunity for a roundhouse kick. Huge. But it is a dead end. Okay, explain it to me. Remember that my brain is unusual. How do you know that this is a dead end over here? Because we know that there's three tiles. How do we know that oh, this must be a dead end? Because it's on the edge? Because where could the road go? I don't know, maybe off screen to the left? <laughs> Is that not how it, it works? Okay, so we know there, there could be enemies here. You know what? Why not try a little bow shot there? I'm Aldous Snow. Bow shot, bow shot, bow shot. Now we know this is a dead end, so we got something out of it. There, there could be an enemy here, but there's not necessarily an enemy here. Now, here's what I'm thinking. You know you got two there, so this is safe. It's safe. This is definitely an enemy. This is definitely a dead end. Excuse me? Oh, because it could turn. It could turn. <laughs> I told you I didn't get it. Hang on. Okay. Use your energy to perform a roundhouse kick. The king was there. All right. And then explore everything just in case. I don't think we need to go back to Chovy. What's for breakfast at Cozy? 
You, it was obviously a dead end. Me, everything's a dead end because you're on a like a six by six grid. There's no escape into the highway. You know, you're, you're not getting on the 401 and heading down to Toronto. How could they not all be dead ends? A mere six by six grid. You got a one piece. You don't have a one piece, so that's safe. We know it's not here. We know it's not here. Okay, now we can start to think a little bit, all right? These are definitely roads. Guaranteed to be... Wait, no, no, no. Hang on. What? No, no, no. This and one of these two are guaranteed to be roads. But we don't know which one yet. Ah! Give me a roundhouse on the four. I'm willing to take a chance here. Huge play. Now, we know this is safe. Three of these, which means these are definitely roads. Now, let me. Th this might be an opportunity to use a leap. Move to a distant tile in the current row or column. Like, what if you moved... Because corners are a great place to start. Oh, this is as far as I can go. Okay. Well, we'll I'll do it anyway. You got a little two-piece on you. I bet there's no... If there's a road here, it has to be a dead end. Zero. Zero. You're safe. Three-piece me. You're, that means you're both roads. Which, as far as I'm concerned, means this is a great roundhouse opportunity. Okay, give me my treasure. There's a four-piece here. And a, this is definitely a road then. You know what? Give me another roundhouse. He's, he's lost his mind. He's out of control. We got energy too. We, you know what? Move to this two-piece. Leap me to the corner. We know you're safe. We know you're safe. Which means we know you, you must be a, a, a road, which means you could be an enemy. You can't be an enemy. You're a two-piece. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting lost here. Oh, you're right, it's safe because it's a zero. Okay, you're right. And then this is a great roundhouse opportunity because we know that these three spaces must be, must be filled. Two enemies have been killed. I think we come here. It'd be better to leap to a corner. I bet there's a way to, to make it out of this. Let me think about this. One of you two is going to be... a space. One of you two is going to be a road. Wait a minute, we know this must be a road because it's connected to another road, which means you're not going to be a road. We know that all of these spaces are guaranteed to be roads. But instead of spending seven energy, give me a leap to take me to the corner. We know you're going to be a road, which means you're not a road. You're guaranteed to be a road, which means you're not a road. You're all guaranteed to be roads. But you are the dead end or the king. Hey, now, now this is a great roundhouse opportunity here. We've, we've caused the king to escape. Am I crazy to think that this is an enemy? There must be an enemy right here, right? He's insane. I guess I probably should have used energy instead of ammo, but whatever. Chase the king. He's getting there. He's going to be so confused when he gets punished. Punished for what? Being perfect? We know you're safe. 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 The heck is this? Energy orb. Vigilant. Starts revealed. Self-destructs and drains 50% of this hero's energy. On defeat, restores your energy to max. This must be a dead end. Huge. Take me to the smith. Desperate hour. Gain three energy reduction. Oh, so things be your abilities become cheaper if you're on one HP. Or plus one gold for every eight gold held when finishing a level. Listen, it's just... It's where I am right now. It just makes sense. This is a... You piece of crap. <laughs> I should have destroyed you quicker, I guess. Um, 
many of these spaces will be roads. So do me a favor and send out a prospective roundhouse. Waste of my life. Okay. Now I'm scared. We know you're going to be a road, but you have to be a dead end. Yeah, it has to be a dead end. Okay, thanks for the treasure and the... What the heck is this? The diagonals are not safe? What do you, what do you mean the diagonals are not safe? This had to be safe because it was a dead end. You are guaranteed to be a road, which means that you are not a road. <laughs> so you're not a road, which means you guys are all roads. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, wait. One, two. You're guaranteed to be a road. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, this one. Wait, okay. One of you two is safe, probably. I guess one of you three is safe. You know what? You're guaranteed to be roads. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Think about it for a second. Look at the three. Okay, I see it. It looks like you stack two C's on top of each other. Left is guaranteed safe. Let me derive why. Oh, because you're already touching two, and then this has to be a road by necessity. Okay, so that gives us our... Oh, no, it doesn't give us our stamina yet. This being safe means that you are all roads. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And then one, two, three, four, five. You're all roads. I would love to get some stamina back. But I'm scared. Okay, you know what? This is a great situation. I got a great idea here. Use an ammo to shoot here. That's a just in case me. And I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did that. Now, Saffron Zealot attacks for one damage and moves to a random space when damage moves to a random space. Now we can go here and we can move ourselves to a corner and start the winning process all over again. They wouldn't put a road here. <laughs> Wait, he attacks from a distance? Okay, I'm going to leap and then use my bow to kill you. I know we're out of ammo now, but I don't want to deal with you ever again. Everything attacks from a distance. It's news to me. Okay, while we're here, we know that one, two, three, four, five are all, uh, are all roads. I feel like just looking at the structure of this, I would rather roundhouse from here to reveal more tiles. I feel like a damn genius. Now, one, two, three, four, you're safe. One, two, you're gonna be a road, which means you're safe. You're a one piece. I don't think that corner is necessarily safe, but let me, you know, you're definitely gonna be a road. You, you lead me to the corner. It's possible. No, it can't, because that would have the corner would by necessity be a dead end. You by necessity must touch one of the three roads that is here, because there must be one here or here, which means that this is safe. Now, this would by necessity be a dead end. Okay, now we know these two are safe. This one is definitely safe. Safe me. These two are def. No, no, no. There you go. These three are definitely roads. So we'll just go here and reveal the tile. And then the roundhouse should take care of the last enemy. Or at least reveal them. No, it got the king, which means you're the last enemy right here. So give me some energy back, please. Is there any space I have not stepped on that I could step on? Because I need my... I guess I have enough stam anyway. So we come over here, do a roundhouse kick. You piece of junk. I gotta go chase you down. You're gonna damage me. It's unfortunate. A 
Oh, it's reveal, not travel. Okay. Just leave? Good idea. <laughs> we didn't get the all clear, but very, very good idea. Okay, we're getting there. Time to call in some reinforcements. So I need to rush to kill you. I don't have to kill you, but I probably have to kill you. Action. Reveals a hidden skull if any are left. If all enemies... Oh, you'll reveal the enemies for you, so I don't have to kill you right away. You revealing the enemies might help me out a great deal. Okay. We're on zero. We're on one. We're on zero. Zero. Go ahead. So we know there's an enemy there. We know this diagonal is safe. You've broken, and I'm okay with that. One of these two is not a road. Hang on, there's like some matrix multiplication that is like... Uh, it's driving me crazy here. You must be a dead end. No, you could be a turn. You could be a turn instead. But you would be... No, you could... Eh. Oh, no, you're right. I gotta kill this guy fast because they're gonna reveal enemies and then the enemies are automatically starting to attack from that point onwards. So true, so true. So kill the snitch. We got a couple more out of it, which is miraculous. I have to get over and kill you, but I have to reveal tiles in the process. I'm gonna buff myself. Okay, I'm gonna die, actually. Please give me some health. Gain two energy when the hero takes damage. That's that's our only option right now. I don't I don't think we can kill him, honestly. I don't think it can happen here. Like I could I could leap ya. Use an energy tonic. And then Roundhouse. <laughs> I could leap. And then get shot in the head. Oh no no, I think I got you because I go first. Oh But then I gotta find a way to kill ya. I interrupted you. Can I have some health, Chovy? Full heal for five? Oh! And how about... Five bow ammo? And then... Just give me some max health for now. And why not more max energy? I know we got interest, but let's spend. Actually, well, hang on. Chovy shop, can I, can I refill my energy? I don't think so. Map just reveals one dead end, okay. Saved. I mean, you're going to hit me this turn. We know that this is safe. I mean, we're going to get hit, but we know it's safe. Worst roundhouse of all time. Well, this must be a dead end, so we should at least take the first step. Cancel that move. And we know this must be a road, but it would be forced to be a dead end, so we should take it. And then we'll roundhouse just to make sure that we don't take any damage. Zero, zero. This is zero. Might as well pick up the treasure. Okay, now we're in... This would have to be a dead end. These are all roads. Good roundhouse. Bad roundhouse. Now I'm scared. You are all roads. This would be a nice one to get to, because you would... I guess you're not forced to be a dead end. Just take a second and puzzle it out. You're not forced to be a dead end. Hang on, this one's gonna feel good. Sorry, there's always gotta be like one sacrifice. I know when you're like the 900th person to type, why is he so stupid? It probably feels like it's not justified that you're the one who got banned. Because you're like, what, 899 people did it before? Why am I the one who sets the precedent? Well, sorry. It's also not fair to be playing a video game and have a thousand strangers be like, your IQ is uh, under question right now. But life's not fair, apparently. So I'll see you in the unban requests. Now. Owned, owned, owned. 
Don't be the people that type owned when you also type question mark every time I take a move, okay? I got my roundhouse back. Oh, no, because I just have a lot of energy to begin with. I'm telling you, this is roundhouseable. We revealed tiles. We need to reveal more, though. You're not forced to be a dead end. You're not forced to be a dead end. You, just looking at the roads here, I'm just going to say there's no chance that this is like a super snaking road. It's that easy. And then five means that one, two, three. This has to be a road. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to say there's no shot this is a road either. Beautiful. Which means this must be a dead end. Which means these two must both be roads. No, because this is a road. Hang on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hang on, hang on. I think I used three energy to do a corner jump. You are now... No, you're not a road. Okay, now, the, now you're using your noggin now. You're a two-piece. One of you two must be a road. Me personally, I jumped to the corner on this one. Beautiful dead end. And now I'm scared. One of you two. Well, hang on. Use your brain. If it's one of you two, it has to be you. Because there must be a road right here, which means you're safe. You're not a dead end. Though. Wait, wait, wait. Could this be a dead end? No. <laughs> it, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. Because it could go blank, blank. In fact, we know this is a road. So it either goes dead end or it goes curved down. Okay, okay. In that case, put me here. And swing me. We still have one remaining enemy. You are the road. You're safe. You have to be a road. You have to be a road. Which means you're safe. And then we get extra money for all clearing. So there must be an enemy in one of these two spaces. Get bodied. Then we leave. Holy cow. We weren't even supposed to live through that one. There's a lot of enemies. You have to die, like, super quick. I almost feel like we should leverage HP to kill... No, you have five turns. Okay, just get, just wait a second. We'll just get close enough to shoot you with the bow. This is safe. Safe. I'm going to make a gutsy move. Jump here. This is a not efficient use of energy. You know, I'm going to take a risk. Okay, and then I'm going to shoot you with my bow, because I, I can't afford to have you reveal anything. All right. You would be forced to be a dead end, so I can now reveal you. All three of these must be roads. By necessity. Which means, you're safe. And it means... You're safe, and you're safe. Okay. You are a road, which means you're safe. <laughs> you are not necessarily a dead end. You could be a curved piece. Four. So, you know what? This is my... Confession. That felt like a good hit to me. And I'm going to just knock you out. To, to take you out of the ecosystem right now. This must be a dead end. Oh, he's crazy. Pick a skill to improve today. When you get hit, gain six energy. Or flying leap lets you move further. 
I'm definitely flying leap pilled right now. And then let's see what's going on at the Smith. What do you seek? Desperate hour, gain three discount on your abilities when beginning a turn with one HP, or restore one health at the beginning of each new level. That's my, that's my gimme right there. You are certainly a rogue. Okay, I would just say, move me for a minute here. You must be a road, which means you're not. All of you are roads. Well, you know what? There's, there's more to be done here. You must be a road. No, you must not be a road. Okay, hang on. We got there. You must be a road, which means you're not. And all three of you are, which means you're not. I guess if all three of you, you must be a dead end then, which means we're safe. Oh, he's crazy at gaming. <laughs> Chovy shop. I'll always refill my bow ammo. And then let's just keep some interest going here. This will only hit two spaces. We could do a further leap, but it's not... I mean, we either roundhouse here for two, or we roundhouse here, and at least we reveal one extra, I guess. So let's, let's roundhouse me. You're a three-piece right here. This has to be a road, which means this isn't. This has to be a road, which means these two aren't. This has to be a road, which means this isn't. And then these should all be zeros. Okay, look at that. It's called math. You better work, bitch. This is three roads. I am killing you. I didn't know you don't have to be in the uh, same row or column to attack with the bow until just now. Remember when I said streamers love to be like... <laughs> I don't want to do this tutorial, and then they also love to be like, How do I do things? How do I work this? Now, you're definitely a road, and you're not forced to be a dead end. You're certainly not a dead end. You're certainly not a dead end. So this is now... This is now a tough situation for me. You... You know what? I saw this in chat, and I like it. What if you jump to this road and then throw out a sick, nasty roundhouse? That was an incredible idea. Thank you so much. Now we know that you would be forced to be a dead end if you were a road. But you can't be a road because you would just be a one tile road, which means there has to be a dead end here as well. So this should be two. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, it could, it could be two or one. That's a guaranteed one, which means these are all safe. You're safe. This is guaranteed a road, guaranteed not to be a dead end. Okay. Then, you're a five piece. Round house me. There's one enemy remaining. He's not here. One, two, three, four. Which means you must be it. Which means you must be a dead end. Hang on. The, the man's matrix multiplication has returned to a... Oh, no! <laughs> No, it hasn't. What's your thing, sir? Attacks for one damage. Okay, well, get around housed. I will move away and bow you. And then it's five turns left on that, which means I need to go reveal a tile ASAP. It's a long trip, man. <laughs> We're gonna take some heat in the process. I guess I could have just stayed up in the region, now that I think about it. I don't know why I was trying to build up more energy. Can I hit you? I can hit you. Okay, mistakes were made. Give me my all clears. And then, certainly, while we're here, refill my bow ammo. You might as well... I mean, we heal one anyway. Maybe we'll just invest in some max health. We 
only have two levels to go. And then we've defeated the game on the first try. And we're in B-Bomb City. Okay, you need to die. Honestly, there's a two-piece right here. No guarantee. Well, hang on. Is there a guaranteed dead end? You're a zero. Yeah, this is a dead end. And then this is a beautiful roundhouse. Get destroyed. Holy cow. Um, get further destroyed. Five turns on this one. It sucks that you guys are right next to each other. I need to do some reveals. Go ahead. I mean, there's nothing we're doing there. Exploding pineapple. Attack a three by three area of tiles for three. You attack in two. Brother, I, I hate the roundhouse like in such a wasteful fashion, but... Okay. You are definitely a, not a road. <laughs> I was going to say a road. You caught me. Now, you're a little three-piece Andy. You would definitely be a dead end. You can't be a road. You can't be a road, which means you're certainly a road. And you're all certainly roads. In that case, the best place for a roundhouse, I think, is right here. We get a lot of information out of it. Not ideal. Hear me out here. How about an exploding pineapple? Probably I would prefer to not be in the blast radius. <laughs> in which case... Oh, but I have... Okay, I'd have to be one up to... I, whatever. Just do it right here. We'll learn something. Not, not only did we learn something, we destroyed the nefarious forces of the Imperium. You're forced to be one, which means you can't be one. You could be one. In that case, move me down here. Give me a roundhouse. This guy's got... 2 HP. I guess I'm gonna... You know, I think there was a better way to handle this, but we're, we're pot committed now. No, we're not. We come over here. We, uh, we, we kill you before you can act. I wish I had put myself in a better position to use the roundhouse, but that's life. All clear? Oh! <laughs> I should have saved the pineapple, man. The pineapple went crazy. No shops, huh? Can you chase the king? 43 gold. Second to last level. You must be killed. This must be a road, which means you're not a road. Get destroyed. It's all, it's priorities. You must be a road. You cannot be a road, obviously. Obviously you can't be a road. You're not a road. You're not an intellectual. You must be a road. And you must be a road. As far as I'm concerned, it's a great opportunity for a roundhouse kick. You got a lot of HP. I will go to Gemma's Gym. You know the drill. Pick a skill. Restore two health at the beginning of each new level or range plus plus. I'll, maybe it's a, a basic Andy way to play. But I'll just take the free HP. You must be a road. I mean, you could easily be an enemy. I don't even know why I moved over here. Uh, just a burn cooldown, I guess. In that case, I want to move. I want to move up. I want a roundhouse. That reset your turn timer. What do you do when you attack? Attacks for one when destroyed spawns a guard. Okay, I'll, I'll bow smack you. Two turns and we can roundhouse again. Great opportunity for a roundhouse. Maybe we got a little lucky. You're going to spawn a guard now that I think about it. That's scary. Three turns for that. I, I have enough energy for a roundhouse. It, nev it never ends, man. Listen, I want to keep you. Drains 10% of the hero's life. I, I feel like I should have made a different move first. I think I've got a... You know what? I think we got to take a hit. Tactically take a hit. 
and then this allows us to get a good roundhouse in here instead that hits two units at once. Then back me up in the bow position, kill this fool. It hurts to take the damage, but so be it. I said it's true, we could have leapt over. Listen, you are a road. No, wait, one, two, three, four. You're not a road, and even if you were, you'd have to be a dead end. You're not a road, which means if there was a road here, it would have to be a dead end, but there's not. This would have to be a dead end. This is a road, it's a dead end. Okay, beautiful. Chovy shop. That's big. Those are big. I still don't think we need full HP, I'm sorry. I'm not a full HP purchaser. Now this is a beautiful roundhouse kick situation. Like six more enemies remain, which is outrageous. Get destroyed. Five piece. One, two, three. You must be a road. I'll just go ahead and say it. Mathematically speaking, if you must be a road, then if you're a road, you must be a dead end. Oh, he's conditional posting. You're obviously not a road. And you are obviously not a road. You are obviously both roads. And you're not necessarily a dead end. Because it could just be a macaroni piece. You are obviously both roads. Which means this is a good roundhouse. You're obviously safe. 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 And safe. Okay. <laughs> An exquisite opportunity for a roundhouse kick. I'll just say I straight up, like, hate your ass. You would be forced to be a dead end. You're obviously not an enemy. I can bow you. Oh, then it, oh, does the bow, it always resets their timer? Or just doing any damage to them resets their attack timer? That's like a foundational piece of knowledge. Any damage resets? I should be using the bow to just reset then. Sometimes at least. And then while we're here, can you, can you take me down to Chovy shop for two gold to buy more bow ammo? Smoke screen. It's okay. Okay, chase the king. I have no idea what's going on, but people are nodding. It's just Minesweeper, bro. You're going back to Phlox in a box. Mouth trash talk. I stashed some extra firepower at the dead ends. It's on the house. Attacks for one damage, drops a mine, and moves when damaged. Okay, I need to... I need to get in on... I need to kill the trombonist first. Now take the flying lick spittle down. Start me here, then here. Then here. I know, th this is gonna suck for a second. You can't be a road, which means all three of you are roads. I'm taking an opportunity to reveal some space. I'm moving forward. Five. Let me think about this. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to simplify my... I'm going to take a risk. Probably should not have done that. You've revealed a lad. I'm going to shoot and kill you which created a guard, which then allows me a good opportunity to do a roundhouse kick. Then I'm going to... <laughs> I'm scared. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. We've gotten a bubble zooka. Free action, attack any visible lad. You need to go. Even though I could have killed you, the trombonus has to go. I'm gonna move.
move down. This is the best roundhouse kick of all time. You've dropped a mine and gone elsewhere. Okay, I understand. I think we just need to mark time. You know what we can do? One, two, three. Roundhouse kick, interrupt both of them. Kill, well, kill one, interrupt the king. He moves. These mines might damage him, for all I know. Now, you need to be reset with the bow. But I can move once before we do it. Can I, if I move here, can I attack here? Let, let's find out. Let's test it. Nope. <laughs> In that case, uh, go ahead and hit me. That's my mistake. You did not get hurt by that. Move me. Move me. He's hit me again. I think I, I, think I squandered what I had going on here. I'm going to take a, a roundhouse kick opportunity. I'm going to move over here. The, the, oh, the mine hurts me as well from that great distance. Bubble Zooka is a free bit of damage. Hang on. Smoke him if you got him. You're going to attack this turn. You're both going to attack this turn, which means I'm dead. Okay, well... You know what? We learned something, though. I think we learned a lot on this first run. Yeet. You got me, kid. <laughs> think alone, think again. The king uses the Phloxian's failure as a cautionary tale and proof of his unrivaled supremacy. They are forced back into servitude and the legendary strength of Phlox fades into history. Next unlock is one more crystal away. All right, let's throw me a slash marker. Let's revolution and run it back. Normal me. I know. Do I listen? Don't backseat me just because I lost on the final boss. It's the first time. First time I've ever seen him. Easy. Easy. Must be two here. But you would be a dead end for certain. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have to be a dead end. Don't be a fool. And this must be a road, which means you're safe. These are all roads, which means this would be a dead end if it were, if it were a road. Now this is a roundhouse. You've been killed. Get the king out of here. Reveal everything and chase. Okay. Level one, no problem. Zero me. One me. One me. You are a space that may not be a dead end. What, one of these spaces must... Okay, you must be one. Which means that... <laughs> one of these is not. But one of these two must be. <laughs> hang on, hang on. If this is a road, and one of these is not a road, but one of these must be. But two of them can't be. So, you're one. I'm going to roundhouse. <laughs> I just, listen. Maybe the roundhouse was not necessary. I got a little bit out of my depth, though. Okay, you're a two-piece. You're not guaranteed to be a dead end. You're certainly, you're guaranteed not to be a dead end. Which means there could be an enemy there. So, give me another roundhouse right here. You're guaranteed to be safe. You're guaranteed to be safe because this will be a dead end. This is guaranteed to be a road, so you're safe. This is guaranteed to be a road. I mean, the, the simple play is you get on the six, you roundhouse, and then it's, it's all over for them. And then we see what's going on at the smith. I think we go interest early. I'm, I don't intend to spend a lot of money early now that I'm immaculate at Minesweeper. So the econ goes insane.
safe. 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 I'm a simple man. A roundhouse here. Safe. 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 Let me, let me run you through this, okay? This must be a road. That's a given. There could be an enemy here. Which means one of these two is a road, but this is safe because if this is a road, I was going to say if this is a road, it must be a dead end, but that's not true. Because it could be a, a upward-facing macaroni, in which case this would be a dead end. Like there could be like a, a, a little circle down here, and then this would be a dead end. Nah, it's safe. All right, if you say so. If it's upward facing, there would be a ro road above, so it would have to be four. So true. Well, we know that this is not a road. Wait, no, no, we don't. We know that this must be a road, in fact. We know that this must be a road. Which means one of these two isn't a road, which means this is safe. <laughs> this would be a dead end were it a road. Okay, these two are all roads. Everything here is a road at this point. Duly noted. You're safe. You're safe. You're a road that would have to be a dead end. Oh! <laughs> this would be a great time to have a leap, honestly. I think the next step is, because we're revealing some unrevealed tiles soon, give me one of these real quick. No enemies. This is not a dead end. This would have to be a dead end. They got me with the macaroni pieces. <laughs> In that case, give me one of these. I didn't think... I, I was only thinking about a road going up this way, and then I was like, this would have to be a dead end. But obviously, that's false. We know this now. There's still one enemy remaining. Let me see what you got in, in Gemma's gym. I would definitely level up my interest. Bow leveling up also seems good. Those seems like they, they seem like two good levels. You, I'm not concerned about, honestly. Save money for a little bit more interest. You must... I, I think this is like a forced 50-50 situation. Unless we're willing to use a bow shot. You're not there. Well, I, we can just solve the level thusly, I guess. There you go. There's still one enemy remaining. They must, by definition, be here. But I don't... Re I do get a bonus for killing everybody. I guess we might as well. Like, it cost us one ammo to do it. But we get like a three gold bonus for... For finishing it out. And then I'll just buy two more ammo, which probably... Oh, it doesn't lower my interest because I leveled up my interest. I still get three interest. Don't take me here. Take me back. Chase the king. Plus the coin for killing them. Oh, so true. You're not going to be a road. It's that simple. You are forced to be a road. Roundhouse me. I was I was simply scared, I'll admit it. You're not a road. Or if you are, you're a dead end. You're not a road. You're not a road. Because you must be a road. Okay? You are a road. I believe I made a mistake. I would like to round... I think I gotta take some chances. You're all roads. You would have to be a dead end. You're both roads. It's like road, 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 which means this diagonal is actually safe. Like, how do I get to the diagonal? Oh, you're right. There would be a dead end. Yeah, bubble ship ticket. Free action, move anywhere. Well, well, well. 
I mean, I, I guess the simple play is you come here and roundhouse for information. Pretty good. And then we wait a couple of turns and roundhouse right here for information. Holy cow, he's insane. One more revealed tile gives us enough energy to almost roundhouse again. This road is, you're, you're not wrong, the road is messed up. Listen, there's two enemies remaining. I'm just making a bet that he's not here. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, roundhouse me. I think that was a calculated gamble that I, I can't be too mad about. Two roads. You would be a dead end. This is a confusing one, man. Using the bow for information? Ah, yeah, but it's one gold. And it's one gold that could be used for damage. Zero. 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 One. You are obviously a road. You'd be forced to be a dead end. <laughs> you are not obviously a road. This four is already tapped. Okay. You're already tapped. You're already tapped. You're already... No, hang on. You're not tapped. But you would be forced to be a dead end. This must be a road, which means that this, they're, they're both roads, which means this is not a road. Corners are always safe. That's just science. These are both roads. Move me up here and give me one of these. The king is gone. You're a road. You're a road. You would be forced to be a dead end. No, you're not. <laughs> you are the enemy! Clutch bow, brother! Okay. Eight interest. Very nice. I like a quick roguelite, too. This is not a, this is not a slow roguelite. This is like a 25-minute roguelite. So we know that this is safe. And we know that like, you don't have to reveal tiles for no reason. You could save that and use that as a resource for later. Now, if I just kill you, I get full energy. So I'm almost thinking, like, let's take a different approach this time. Let's smoke him if you got him. Well, I'm not going to get there. Never mind. I, I could use a free action kill you. But like, what's the point? You don't you don't bother me that much. That this raises our bow range by one, right? We can take our turns as we see fit right now. Oh no, it's for unlocks, that's right. Okay, now, we know you're safe, we know you're safe. We know... that you're safe. Let's, let's start to get some, some purchase over here. We know you're safe. Save, save some spaces that are like unrevealed. Oh, but then I gotta reveal spaces to find the freaking enemies anyway. I'm overthinking it. We can at least leave the corner available to ourselves, though. Two piece. You would be forced to be a dead end. You're you're def you're definitely not safe. Ow, that must have hurt. The tiles are. Listen, <laughs> they gave. I did something so bad that they legitimately said zero means nothing's there, idiot. How embarrassing is that? Okay, give me a bubble ship ticket. That moves me right here. And I'm going to use my bow to kill you before you become more of a problem. <laughs> They're worried about you. <laughs> okay, let's get some energy back. You're safe. You're safe. You must be safe. These are both roads. You would be forced to be a dead end. All three of these are roads. You don't have to be a dead end. Great roundhouse opportunity. No information is the same as information. Six piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are both roads as well. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Where I'm going, I need roads. I think you're going to land an attack on me.
What happens after you attack? Moves to a random space. One more enemy remains. Okay, go ahead. Take, take the shot. You would be forced to be a dead end. I'm, I may die here, but I may not. Get killed? Dead end with a health tonic. Oh, baby! Refill HP to max. <laughs> no need to use that until, it, until I'm guaranteed to die. You're forced to be a dead end. Or a king, sure. That means the last enemy remaining is right here. Which means I'm going to come here and roundhouse you. And then if you have more than one HP, I'll hit you with a bow. Okay, we've made it. No need to save it. Well, there could be a need to save it. I could find like a, a, a money heal and then save this for an opportunity when there's no shop. We, there's no need to use it until we see that we're about to be attacked anyway. Or until we have to make a decision to risk a tile where there could be an enemy. I didn't... Oh, no, that's fine. The corner, I guess it didn't matter. But you could run into a road? Well, you just use it before you run into a road. Not all clear? I got the all clear bonus. It said, in the, it said it in the bottom left. Okay. Can't roundhouse immediately? You're annoying. You know what? In this situation, I forgot if you do damage. So I'm just going to use this. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now, two-piece me. You would be a dead end. <laughs> You're probably not a road. You're definitely a road. Now, if you're a road, that means you're a road, which means you're not a road. You're about to reveal an enemy. Don't like that. We know for a fact all of these are uh, spaces with, that are roads, but you must be a dead end. Okay, now you have to rush this dude down. So we know that... Well, maybe we'll talk to Gemma first. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level up my interest still. I'm a good up. Maybe we can get our other upgrades a little bit later. Maybe I'm making a mistake. Who knows? So this is a roundhouse for safety. I'm going to make a bold decision. I can't do what I wanted to do. I'm going to take a risk. <laughs> I'm going to use an energy tonic. Give you a quick roundhouse kick to kill you. Am I crazy? Why, why can I not roundhouse kick here? I can. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay. You are annoying. Take me to Chovy's shop for a second. You got a full heal for five. Scroll of lightning. Target a tile. Attack a 3x3 three three area of tiles. Give me one of those. Let's spend the little gold. And we can always buy the full heal at the end if we need to. You would be a dead end. You're not a road. You're definitely both roads. But any damn... You know what? Kill me. So you don't reveal anything else. Then, get roundhoused to interrupt your turn. You're so annoying. Target a tile in the current row or column and attack a 3x3 three three area of tiles. I know what I must do. One, two, and zap them. Genius. You would be a dead end. You are nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing. You are a road, which means this is a dead end. Okay. Smith me. And frenzy. 
Gain one turn of plus one damage each time an enemy is defeated. Or, I, you know what? We should restore a health at the start of every single level. You're not a road. 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 Obviously not a road. Clearly a road. Get owned. You stink. All clear bonus. And then see if there's more dead ends. Get out of here, idiot. Okay, then 42 gold. Bow me. Bow me. I'm not spending five gold on a full heal because that's basically five gold for one because we're healing already when we go to the next level. I'm chasing the king. He's going off. We're not losing this time. If anything, I should start stocking up for the final boss. I hate you! One piece? I'm simply unafraid. <laughs> Roundhouse me. Move me? Move me. You're, you're gonna reveal. I can't stop the reveal. The bow doesn't get us there. Okay, what I can do is I can move up one. I'm a fool. But I can round the house, which will kill this guy and give me full energy refund. So true. Then, I have to kill, I'm sorry, there's so many enemies on the screen. I gotta kill you. I'm gonna let you hit me for one, because I you have to go in order to give us any chance here. Like, there's so many enemies on the screen, bro. This is a nightmare. I feel like I have to stay close to Chovy's shop. <laughs> because by staying close to Chovy's shop, I can buy a full heal. I need to not, just give me, I need to like roundhouse. Cause you're gonna attack like in, one turn? No, I think I, I went too slow and got myself killed. <laughs> In trying to min-max it, I, I was off by one. You've unlocked Shadow. Okay, Shadow. Use stealth and mobility to find the king while revealing as few tiles as possible. Hide enemies to avoid open combat. Okay, let's give it a try. Symbidium. If it isn't, Count Leo finally had it with our king. I can't imagine what he did. You're a sneaky fellow, so use some cunning to catch the king. You can use smoke bombs and cartwheel to hide enemies you don't want to fight head on. Your backstab is a powerful ability, but can, it can only be used on hidden tiles. When you run low on energy, use gold to call in some favors, but be careful, the cost of favors goes up every time you use it. So you shrouded to earn extra money by leaving the level with as many tiles hidden as possible. Interesting. This time the king's guards are looking for you. Their suspicion will reveal skulls based on how many tiles, tiles you reveal by moving. Reveal tiles selectively and move between visible tiles to avoid raising suspicion. Now go be cunning and catch the king. Start every level with full energy. Plus one gold for every four tiles hidden when finishing a level. Reveal a hidden enemy every four times normal movement reveals a hidden tile. Cartwheel. Leap over one of the four adjacent tiles and hide it. Hear me out here. Walk me one. I'm lost. <laughs> Throw a bomb to hide an area of tiles within range. Targeting the... Okay. Because a part of me was like, why don't I just leap over this and thus hide this tile? But this could be an enemy. You know what? This is why you use energy. Attack a hidden tile. Move there if it's empty or if an enemy is defeated. You're a two-piece? I'm scared. 
five. I'm gonna guess there's some enemies here. So all we're trying to do is reveal the king. I feel like I've not done this properly. You're guaranteed to be a dead end. No, you're not. You're guaranteed to be a road because this is a dead end. Hang on. Let's talk to the smith briefly. Take no damage from stepping on a hidden skull. The skull stepped on will start with a partially filled clock. Okay, that sounds like transformative. You're probably not going to be a dead end. Which means you're probably going to be an enemy. You're safe, but I shouldn't just be revealing safe tiles just to reveal them. You're the king. He's a genius. Okay, Chase? But like, I'm like, before you leave, should I not just use energy to leap over this tile and hide it, but then it will reveal this one? <laughs> and I don't have enough energy to do anything else. Okay, I, I see. We didn't really maximize our sneaky bonus, but so be it. Our goal is to find the king. The king is always on a dead end. You're guaranteed not to be a road, which means you could be a road, but you would be a dead end. So we should check it. All right. You're not a road. This is too much for me. <laughs> Tile. I, here's a question. If I reveal an enemy, how do I kill them if I didn't catch them on a backstab? I feel like the answer is like you just have to leave immediately. Oh you oh you hide them using your smoke bomb. I see. So true. You can flag like in Minesweeper. Okay, instead of being like sarcastic, just tell me the button. It's not middle mouse. It's not right mouse. Space bar. So we know you're, it's, it doesn't appear to be space bar. Look at your movement range. We're not talking about my movement range right now. I lied. F11. Control. Doesn't appear to be control. All right, I think it was made up. Hang on, hang on. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Aaron Apparent. Yes, but he skipped that prompt. Slash user, Aaron Apparent. Let's take a look here. One time out by Mubad, two years ago. This game is getting trunked fast, Sag. Yes, but he skipped that prompt. Smoke bomb or cartwheel? These are the types of games that stave off dementia in old age. Good roundhouse. Hang on. I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of uh Balatero backseating as well. I'm just waiting for the let me F5. What's the, what's the flag button, Aaron? Aaron, you said I skipped the tutorial. What's the flag button? They've escaped. <laughs> they have exited the chat. So you can dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? They smoke bombed. Slash user Aaron apparent. I was I, all I did was ask a question. You said there's a flag button. I said, what is it? You didn't have to close the tab in a rush. I'm not installing like malware on your computer. Slash user, Aaron Apparent. Last message, smoke bomb or cartwheel. Is there a, th at Gymnast City, where Gymnast City wrote this message, is there a flag button like Minesweeper? Reply, yes, but he skipped that prompt. I was just asked what the, what the question was. I just asked what the, uh, your name's permanently locked in the database now. You can't escape by just closing the window. Can you just answer the question? You were so confident you knew everything about the game. Okay, you are obviously not a road. 
so there's no reason to reveal you. What about cartwheeling here? The, the goal is to find dead ends. You're both roads, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are a dead end. I'm just cartwheeling. <laughs> How about a backstab right here? No shot. You're a dead end. We reveal this to see if it's the king. Okay. Not the king. You could be a dead end. You could be the king. Not the king. You're not, you're clearly not a dead end, so I don't care for you. You could be an enemy or you could be a dead end. You can't be a dead end. I'm gonna try something. You're obviously not a dead end. I'm gonna suggest that means you are. I've made a mistake. I'm in a world of hurt. Cartwheel me and then move me here. It's the only place the king, the king can't be there. Are you stupid? It's, he's gotta be here. Ah! This is not going to be a dead end situation. You're, you're not a dead end. You're not going to be a dead end. It's got to be you. It's got to be you. Okay. Get me out of here. Forget about Gemma's gym. We don't have the money. Chase the king. Get me. Hey, you forgot this. I, I, I want to leave. I don't have any gold. You're a zero piece. You're a four piece. I simply don't believe that there would be a road here. Okay. Good sense and sensibility. You, if you were a road, you would be a dead end. We have to check it. Since we know this is a zero, I'm going to go here for a second. That allows us to skip over this, which then allows us to go here. It would have to be a dead end if it was anything. Why are you revealed? Why, why is this fool revealed? Because of suspicion. Oh. The remix to suspicion. I could smoke bomb you if I have to. How far can I throw a smoke bomb? It has to be diagonally adjacent. Understood? Take me back. You are not a space, which means you're not a dead. You're actually, you're not a road. You're a road, you're a road. One of you is, one of you is, you have to be a road? How would that even make sense? Just a one tile road? You're, you're not a road. Wait, no, 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 this is, a, you're, you're stupid. It's these four, it's these, it's these four right here. Which means you're a, a road. But if you're a road, how could you, no, because you can't be a road. You're, because you're a road. Okay, you guys are safe. You don't have to be a dead end. You have to not be a dead end. I don't believe they would put a road here. I'm imagining it in my head. I, if it was a road, we knew it was going to be safe anyway. Similarly, this is not a road. Okay. Goodbye. I, I just don't have the money to buy what they want me to buy. I'm trying to get as much finance as possible first. You're not going to be... If you're going to be a road, you're going to be a dead end. That's a given. You're not going to be a road. No shot, you're a road, but we don't need to make that move. Okay. Pretty much no chance you're a road. I just couldn't imagine it. You're a road and you're a road, which means you're not a road. The suspicion is increased. You're a road. You're a dead end. Ah, okay. Move me. I might have to smoke bomb you. You're a road, which means you're safe. Four piece. You're a road, for sure. You're not a road. Take me over here then. Three piece me. You would have to be a dead end. You would have to be a dead end. 
No, you wouldn't. Uh, how about... Whoops, there's one damage. How about the best smoke bomb of all time? And then, you're not a road. You would have to be a dead end. You can't even be a dead end, okay. We know you're an enemy. Move me here, move me here. You can't be a road. You can't be a road, you would just be nothing. That means your road, your road. Which means you're probably road, which means you're probably safe. Or dead end. You could be a dead end. One, two, three, three, four. They're all roads, as far as the eye could see. Where's the dead end, then? You? Backstab me? Jump me? <laughs> ah, between the three and the two, of course! Leave me? Use your very precious limited resources? Find the king? Oh! You're both roads. I got your ass. I'm chasing the king. Oh, we could hide them and then backstab them for money. So true! We find them, hide them, and then kill them. Okay, you're a one-piece Andy. That's a nasty four-piece right there. Actually, it could be here, for the record, but... Just think about this. Think this one through. It's these three, and then one of these two. They would not put it here. It's just that would be too cruel. Move here. It's a, it's a big risk, but I'm a big risk taker. What can I say? If I were a dead end, I think I'd want to be here. You would have to be a dead end, yeah? Okay, you've been revealed. Big whoop. So I'm, I'm more safe than anyone's ever been in history. Free action refill health to the max. Backstab on a diagonal. Here's my thinking. Move me. That didn't hit you. <laughs> That's okay. I can still smoke. I can still backstab you. You are not a dead end. You would be a dead end. You are not necessarily a dead end. But you could be, okay? <laughs> Noted. Not sure if a tile is a road. Use an attack to reveal it. I'm on a different level right now, game. You don't understand, okay? Where the hell is my dead end? Because I think I'm about to die. I need to refill all of my health immediately. Four of these. You're, you're safe. I know you're safe. One, two, three. You're a dead end if you're a road. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. These are both roads. You would be forced to be a dead end. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed I'm not dead. Where the hell is my dead end? Son of a bitch. I'm dead, man. Use car wheel? I was using car wheel, and then everyone was typing car wheel, car wheel, don't use car wheel, just move. And now I'm not using car wheel. People are like, you gotta use car wheel. What is he doing not using car wheel? He's he's a fool. Just kill my ass. I I, I don't think I can handle this character, man. If you cartwheel over the enemies, it hides them. Does it hide them or does it hide the tile? Run me back. We, this is, it's so doable. I think I had it on easy mode, which means I need to restart it. Because we're definitely not beating it on easy for the first time. New run me. Shadow, continue. Normal mode, please. No, we were on normal. Okay. I'm just mad about Saffron. She's just mad about me. Use your brain. This would have to be a dead end. 
This would have to be a dead end. I own you already. Hide. Move, move to nearby revealed tile number two. Hide the tile and gain hidden. Hidden. Next time you're attacked, lose hidden but suffer no damage. It expires if you move. I don't know how to handle that, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Seems tough. You are not a dead end. Revealing tiles causes enemies to get more suspicious. Understandable. You would by necessity be a dead end. Okay. You are just a nothing tile, which means all three of you are roads, which means this is where the king is. I'm the best. I guess we could have cartwheeled over a tile or two and then gotten even more gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Step one, though, is a good start. But as the matrix gets larger, it's harder to figure it out, man. I don't think that you, they would make an enemy here. It's just too rude. So you would be a dead end. You basically can't be a dead end. No, you could, well. So the road comes up here. Is it, I guess any of these could be a dead end. Hang on, give me. One of those, we did find our dead end. Okay, Gemma's Gym. Backstab, costs less energy. Hide, gets more versatile. I'll use it at some point. Which means you're not a dead end. You're not a dead end. Now, you have to be a dead end. Or nothing. You're both not dead ends. So here's a risky play. Cartwheel over this fool. And then backstab him. There could have been an enemy here, but that made sense to me. Our energy came back. Backstabbed this square. They wouldn't put... This would be a dead end, if it was anything. An enemy has been revealed. A man has just fallen into the river in Lego City. Do me a favor, let me get a backstab here. No enemy. This is a zero, zero, zero. This is the dead end. This is where the king lies. Now take me here. Cartwheel me. Cartwheel me. That was supposed to be a cartwheel. Well cost me a little bit here. Cartwheel me. This cartwheel is not good because, well, it's not worth using because we hide this, but we reveal this again. Sure, chase the king. I'm ready to go. Two extra gold. <laughs> you could cartwheel the mine and stab it. Right, right, right. Okay. You know what? I'm a simple man. I take chances. I cartwheel you. Silence. Like, well, watch this. Cartwheel you to hide you. Then give me a backstab. Give me a backstab. Because we, we get our energy back. Give me a backstab. Okay. We, we got some extra information for the low, low price of free. It's not new information, I guess, because those were zeros to begin with. But I wanted to keep myself one tile away from the, from the lad. You're not a dude, which means this is safe. Not a dead end, safe. Wait, no, this is a dead end. Let me show you why. This has to be a space, but then there can't be anything here because this is maxed, and it can't be anything here because this is maxed. So this is a dead end. Holy cow. I can't even buy anything. I'm, I'm too rizzed up. I think you take a chance here. Use a backstab for a free reveal. Continue to use a backstab for a free reveal. Huge play. Thanks for the gold. <laughs> the 
corners are usually safe. <laughs> that was not a good move. <laughs> you are guaranteed to not be bad. Now, you're annoying, but check this out. Move me. It's a risky cartwheel, but I'm doing it nonetheless. You're dead. All clear. Fantastic. But we got to find the, the damn king. You're definitely a road. Could be here. Could be here. Could be here. Okay, I'm revealing tiles for no reason and not getting any energy back. Where's my... Where, the dead end is here. Okay, well, it's an energy tonic. It's a dead end. It could be here. It is there. Okay. And we don't need anything. So chase him. Might as well chase him. We had no, no energy for cartwheels that time. Econ is not going great, but we're doing a lot better. You must be a road. So backstab me. Take a risk. Now you don't go for a... Watch this. You're gonna stab me? You're gonna stab me? We found a dead end? Then we get our full energy backstab returned. One, two, three, four. You're... Empty. Empty, empty, empty. I wish Aaron was here so they could tell me what the flag button is. It would be very helpful right now. You're definitely going to be a road. So you guys probably aren't going to be roads. We want to find roads. We want to make sure they're dead ends, though. I'm going to take a chance on a stab. That's very nice. I'm going to stab again because it's this is the way. This would have to be a dead end. Do me a favor, give me a stab. I am crazy! Give me a stab. Okay, two piece. Which means all these are safe, which means you must be a dead end. Holy cow, he's, he's learned. Move me, move me. Now, you're not necessarily safe. Stab me. I'm actually... I'm unbelievable. I'm out of control. Now we want to reveal as few tiles as possible and find the dead end where the king resides. Could be here. It's a, it's a nice dead end. Could be here. Maybe it couldn't have been, now that I think about it. Could be like... Here. Get owned. And we got a lot of hidden tiles for the first time in my entire life. Plus six. Great time to get some upgrades. Zero me. Four me. So it must be these four. But that would mean that this is a dead end. Oh! <laughs> Clean! Reveal a tile from a distance. Take no damage from stepping on a hidden lad. Sure, I, you know what? We're using our energy pretty effectively. Maybe we should just take a passive right now. I would say diagonal step me. I bet you're not a road. It just, that's too twisty and turny. <laughs> okay, we got it. Little lucky, little lucky. Just, just, just thinking, just studying it. Not a good move. Um, you know what? Occasionally, in this life, you gotta take risks. Here's another risk for you. You would be forced to be a dead end, but you're de guaranteed to be roads, which means you aren't actually real. You aren't real. However, let's run the numbers, okay? This is something to think about. You have to be a road. You have to be a road. 
which means you're tapped, but you're not. Which means that this has to be a dead end. Oh! <laughs> I can't jump over this lad. I, I'm gonna have to hide him. You have to be a dead end. I was right. I was just, I was merely off by one. It's the game that's wrong. Okay, two enemies remain. You should use a smoke bomb. I hate to say it, but you should use a smoke bomb here. I guess I, I know, I, don't, I could use an energy tonic and then kill him, but we get our energy back at the end of the next level anyway. Okay. I'm not scared. Two enemies still remain. I can't backstab anymore. That's scary. You're a two-piece. I'm gonna guess this means this is a dead end, or this is a dead end. Oh! I think now that we have dodge, we do take some risks, but as soon as the risk goes wrong, you gotta get to the end as soon as possible. I hate this. We have to take risks because otherwise you're gonna you're gonna force us to take risks anyway. So I'm I'm Oh that we've made a mistake. Move me? Oh that's horrible. <laughs> um Start me here and then we're gonna have to make some plays. I would say backstab. I would say backstab. I would say backstab. And at the very least, we're getting some gold for killing so many enemies. This might not be uh, econ pilled. Take me here. Oh, hello, Chovy. I would like to buy two more smoke bombs, please. And um, let's raise our max health by one while we're here. Maybe our energy would be nice, too. Now watch this. Cartwheel me? I don't even need the backs. It would give me some gold, but I'm more invested in finding the the exit. Hide cooldowns, less cooldowns. Smoke bomb area of effect is so important. N dead end or not anything at all? Nothing at all? One piece. It's gonna be right here, which means this is a dead end. Oh. <laughs> okay, they've become revealed again. Let me see. One, two. Buckle my shoe. One, two, three. One, two, three. All of these are roads. This can't be a road. One, two, three, four. One, two. None of these are dead ends, though. Okay, we gotta get ready to smoke bomb you. It's gonna be road, road. You're not a dead end. How about one of those? I'm not backstabbing you. I hit some tiles I wish I knew something about. <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the exact same position that I was just in. Okay. Road. Two, three, four, five. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This must be a road and it can't be a dead end. Backstab me. Oh, it was an enemy. Okay, okay. Not an enemy. One, you're, it's you. Oh. <laughs> two, one, two, three. So it's not gonna be down here. You already killed that guy? So true. It's you. Oh, you piece of junk. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Top right is forced to be the king. So true. So true! I knew that. I didn't need your help, but I appreciate it either way. Thank you. I got a little lost on that one. It was so close to our spawn. Okay, on a zero, we move. 
we move. We take risks. We use energy wisely. That was huge. Cartwheel, it's, it's a, again a risk. Oh, it's too risky. Backstab me. I'm using so much energy here. You are not an enemy. We cartwheel over top of you. Huge! Uh, we might as well go to Chovy's shop first. Give me health and energy. Oh, wait, wait, how much? I got 13 gold. Give me two smoke bombs instead. I'll take the health, though. Then, get smoked. Okay. I would say not an enemy. One, two, three, four, five. Not an enemy. This is a lot of stuff to keep in your brain, dude. Zero me. The smith me. I have not much money. I'll take interest, though. It's Minesweeper? Bro, why are you insulting Minesweeper? Minesweeper is like 10 times more complicated than like the, the average popular game these days. Backstab costs less, more smoke. No, smoke bomb is an even larger area of effect. We need a dead end. You guys are both occupied. I think the dead end must be down here. One, two, three, four. My dead end. Motherfucker. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Place me. Smoke bomb me. Now I've got to remember where the hell the damn tiles were, man. Oh, never mind. You just wait for somebody in chat to tell you it's right there. The econ is finally popping off. B bomb city. I simply don't believe it would be here. <laughs> it must be there. So you are safe, but that means that's not worth anything. That could be a dead end. Exactly. Okay. Could be a dead end. Your corners are just good to begin with. If you have one, you're a dead end. You're getting on my ass for no reason. You would be a dead end. Come on. You would probably be a dead end. This means you're safe. Zero. Put me here. Received a map. What does one do with a map? Reveals one dead end. Well, guess what? I'm not taking a hit. Move to a nearby revealed tile numbered one or two. Hide the tile and gain hidden. Look at that. I'm safe. I'm taking a risk with a cartwheel. And I'm, I don't see a need to kill you. I really thought that was going to be the king. Give me a diagonal move. Give me a smoke bomb. Hang on. It's the thinking man's move here. One, two, three, four. It's there. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. Yeah, the big smoke bomb, I previously thought that it was very smart. Now I feel like I get lost in where I'm going. But you can't deny that I'm certainly doing a lot of clicking. I don't think anybody would dispute the amount of clicks that I'm doing relative to the norm. We should, probably should have remembered that there was a guy there. It's got to be top left. Somewhere. I don't care if you sap my energy. What do I care? Hey! Okay. Now, at some point, we are going to have to kill the king. But that's why I'm saving, like, all of my items completely. 
It's not going to be there. No chance. In fact, whatever it connects to must be a dead end. I know. I bet it's an elbow piece like Ray. No, just, just do it. I'm not scared. Four piece me? You're now connected to three, five pieces. I bet that's safe then. Oh, no, we found it. Even better. Even better. So you're not it. No, you could still be it. I've made a huge mistake. Um, but that's okay, because watch this. Move me. That's an eight. Holy cow. Uh, in that case, backstab me. Move me. Go ahead and hit me. See if I care. You are not a dead end. I think I've revealed everybody on the map. <laughs> nope, there's still a couple left. <laughs> hmm. Me personally, I would go hidden really quick. Oh, I'm still gonna take like seven damage as a result of that? Okay, move me. Guys, I think I'm in a lot of trouble. This is a, is a dead end. Chovy, thank you so much for your help. Can I get a full heal real quick while I'm here? And then how about... I just don't want to deal with you guys ever again. Move me. Move me. We got tons of energy. We should have bought a, a more smoke bombs from him as well, but it is what it is. Gemma's gym. Make my cartwheel better. Make it cost less energy. Support me. Cartwheel me? Okay, okay, like this. Cartwheel me. No need to backstab unless we wanted to get some gold. Gold's not that relevant in my life, nor should it be in yours. You've hit me again. Where the hell is the king? Because the smoke... You know what? Take me back to Chovy. Chovy, I need three smoke bombs. Thank you. And you know what? While we're here, give me an exploding pineapple. Right above that enemy. Thank you for your support. I'm not going to use a smoke bomb. I'm going to... I'm going to eat a hit. I'm, I'm going to... I'm moving around you. That's a dead end, but it's not the king. No. Or it could be bottom left. Some information that would have been useful yesterday. That's not your fault. It's my fault. Anyway, get hidden. I'm also hidden. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm finding you. Okay, that's a problem. I'm cartwheeling over top of you. To hide you. I'm uncovering every tile on the map. Get out of my face. <laughs> is NL using any strategy or is he just clicking? Uh, if just clicking works for you, then that's a good strategy. I'll turn your bones into a throne. A bone throne. Now listen, I need you to... Well, I don't really want you to place a mine. How much HP do you have? Unknown. You have to die. That's a given. I stashed some extra firepower in the dead ends. I, I hear you. Six in the top right. So true. Okay. First step, dodge. Second step, dodge. That wouldn't kill me, right? <laughs> You're right. Map me. There's a dead end. How about smoke bomb me? Then take me to... I know I'm going to take a hit here, but we get a bubble zooka out of it. All right. Don't cry, poor baby. Check it out. Free action. Get smoked. Free action. Get smoked. Holy cow, he's actually, 
he's actually doing something. The dude only has one HP left. How about the power to move you? I, don't, I literally don't care what you do, for the record. How about I jump over top of you and then stab you in the back? <gasps> what? I, I won? I'm the greatest player of all time? <laughs> oh, I didn't understand what I was doing, huh? Unlock new game plus one. When the king, with the king brought low, Count Leo slips away undetected. Count Leo! He lives a thousand more years stewarding Symbidium back to its former glory. Would you look at that? New skills have been unlocked. This has been Let's Revolution. I really gotta go pee. Hey, equals equals. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you so much. I'll see you all. I'll see you guys in two minutes. See you then. They should make a golf video game.
Like, this is kind of a crazy statement. Because I know there's a lot of golf video games. But considering, and I know where I'm going with this one. I know where you're going to go with this one. Considering how relatively easy it is to make an arcade golf game, it's crazy that there's not, like, a flood of them out there. Like, Nintendo made Mario Golf, and then there's Golf Story, but, like, it's kind of nuts that there's not, like, two amazing arcade golf games a year made by indie developers. I'm talking about, like, a... Not Curse the Golf, that's... Not my tempo. <laughs> I'm talking, like, why are there less Hot Shots Golf clones? Where's my, like, uh, where's my Hot Shots Golf clones? Hot Shots Golf. Hot Shot Burn. Ranked number 6628 on Steam. 92% positive reviews. Multiplayer funny. Where's all the pickleball games? So true. Pickleball. Pickle Clicker, The Great Pickle Adventure, Hot Pickle, Pickle Frickle, and Hot Pickle Soundtrack. There's no pickleball game? That's insane to me. Did you see that in Chilliwack, British Columbia, um, a couple who owns a house next to a pickleball court is going on a hunger strike to try to convince the city to install like noise dampening equipment around the pickleball court because I I didn't know this apparently pickleball can get up to like 110 or 120 decibels while it's played it's very easy to and I mean I, this was my first reaction too to to look at the family and be like I mean like you're going to go on a hunger strike because of this? That seems a little insane. But then, when you see that it's like as loud as an airplane engine or something like that, you're like, you know what? I'm not saying they got a point, but... I guess I can put myself in their shoes. I live next to a pickleball court. It's not that loud. All right, if you say so. There's, I know they can make noise abatement walls as well. I think that's what they're asking for. They kind of got screwed though, because like they bought a house, there was no pickleball court there, and then the city built a pickleball court like in the park right next to their house. The city, I guess, shouldn't necessarily have to like clear it with them, but they can at least understand why they're messed up, why they're feeling messed up about it. Don't NIMBY this? They didn't, they didn't NIMBY it. They let the pickleball court be built. They're just like, the shit's noisy. Can you turn it down? In fact, they're actually YIMBYs because they're saying, they built a pickleball court in my backyard. Now, can you also build noise abatement walls in my backyard? They're asking for a lot of stuff to be built in their backyard. Is pickleball really louder than tennis? I guess the, the ball itself is like really hard, right? And the tennis ball is, is rubber, so it makes more of like a... YouTube it? Pickleball noise. Pickleball noise sample. Sound, pickleball versus tennis. <laughs> okay, uh, 15 second intro is yeah, too much. The net in the center is two inches higher at 30. Really interesting. The pickleball, hitting the pickleball paddle is 30% less loud. Not more loud, less loud, but 
the pickleball has a higher pitch than a tennis ball. And therefore, tennis players find it distracting because it's a different sound than they're used to hearing. This is a tennis ball. This is a tennis ball. That's a pickleball. That's a pickleball. As well, more pickleball players can fit in the same area of a tennis court than tennis players. So there's more balls being hit, there's more chatter, and also with pickleball, the points are longer, so there are more ball strikes per point and per hour and per minute of play. We'll be continuing this discussion in other tips that we'll produce of this series. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. <laughs> I feel like I learned almost nothing. I really just wanted someone to show me how loud a pickleball was, but you learned it's 30% quieter. He didn't show his source or anything. Just watch a game of it. Pickle ball world championship 2022. Hang on, I got some advertisements first. Well, like, this isn't fair because it's, like, professionally mic'd up. So, like, they dampen it for the audience out there. Like, I need one that's just, like, a, someone's iPhone on, like, a pickleball court. 2021 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championship Pro Mixed Doubles Bronze Medal Match. Holy cow. I don't know. I don't care. I've decided I don't care. Let's load up SAP. Why SAP? Oh, you should be thankful, because from now on, SAP is the only uh, game I'm going to play on the stream. People will be like, play games. I play a new game. Everybody's like, uh, is this dude the stupidest idiot on the planet? And then next week, they'll be like, where's the games? And I'll be like, you fucking killed it. Look at your chat logs, asshole. No wonder all these streamers are just going live doing things they're good at. Eating fast food from 14 different restaurants in a single day. They got it all figured out, man. Hey, Danny Kaza, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. <clears throat> Perfect docket. Go live watching TikToks. Become a member of Chad. Laugh at everything that you see on TikTok. Insult other creators instead of making yourself an object to be insulted. Three hours of TikTok reacts. Eat lunch. Just make mouth noises and say, oh, that's so fucking good. People say, what is that? I say, it's a Chick-fil-A sandwich. They say, that's so fucking good. Someone says, aren't you concerned about Chick-fil-A's anti-LGBTQ stances? Ban them permanently from the chat. Three more hours of TikTok reacts. Spend an hour cooking up a tweet about how I've had an 80-hour work week. Don't reply to any emails from any potential sponsors. Don't sign the contracts for activations that you agreed to two months ago. <laughs> Don't reply to any of your direct messages. Leak them all on stream. This is the way, man. This is the way. No wonder the biggest streamers aren't playing games anymore. It's a thankless job. Super auto pets. So, yeah. I'm thinking I'm sap. <clears throat> okay, slash marker, sap. 
I feel bad I didn't get to play too much of the weekly this week because it's a very interesting weekly. Some people like it, some people hate it. Um, but it, th- th- what I'm saying about it is, and I mean this in not in like um, a backhanded compliment sort of way, I think it's a very fun weekly that is super different than the average weekly. I wish I got to play more. I'll be a super auto sausage. Unfortunately... My kids' daycare had to have a medical emergency, very selfish of them, which meant that my uh, child has been home from daycare for four days this week. They only went on Monday and then a half day on Tuesday. So as a result, we now are, uh, we, we didn't get a chance to record too much Super Auto Pets this week, but that's life. That's just how she goes. Three squirrels? I don't really want to buy a blueberry. Honestly, I, I would. We could go super strawberry build, I guess. <clears throat> what do you pay your daycare for? They're very inconsistent. Yeah, but they got you like bent over a barrel, pretty much. You know, the, the thing that you love most in the world is in their care eight to nine hours a day, what are you going to do? Antagonize your, your daycare uh, provider? Yes? I know you don't have kids. You can't do this. You can't be like, I'm never having kids. And then when I ask when, a hypothetical question about having kids, you're like, here's what I would do. You wouldn't do anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've made that clear to me on many occasions. What are they going to do? Hit your kid? I'm not suggesting they would hit your child. Like they're, it's just a medical situation. It wasn't like uh, you know they just decided to go to Cancun for a week or something like that. But all I'm saying is, you know, if if you start to antagonize the daycare when it comes time for snack time, and you know there's only six apples to go around, and somebody's got to eat a Bartlett pear, maybe all of a sudden your kid finds himself eating the Bartlett pear instead. I was stowed on this one. Just don't need you. Just don't need you. Pears are better. I've I've been a a pear defender for so long. Ever since we had our kid, I've been eating like way more fruits. I'm willing to admit that I was simply wrong. Pears are just not that good. And I really went to bat for them for two decades. My parents used to throw them in my lunch. I would take them to school. Some pears are the perfect softness. They're, they're like just, they're one quanta of solace away from mushy. You eat a pear and you're like, it will be mushy in six hours. That's the perfect time to have a pear. Sometimes you get a pear, you bite into it and it like makes your soft palate bleed. Like you bite into it and it like perfectly forms like a mold of your upper teeth that you could give to the dentist to like, build a retainer for you. Sometimes it's like biting into a piece of bark. They have a, the pear is too inconsistent. I like the flavor of a pear. I'm not willing to deal with the inconsistency of the pear. I would, if I'm going to eat a pear, I'd rather just eat an apple. And I'm not even that apple-pilled or pen pineapple apple-pilled. But I, I, an apple's flavor might be a little bit worse, but apples are so much more consistent. And moreover, you know when an apple's going to suck ass because you grab it and you squeeze it and you're like, this shit is like mashed potatoes on the inside. It's going to be horrible. That's just the way it goes. You grab a pear, you don't know until you take the first bite. I don't want you. You know what? I want you. Watch this. Buy me a strawberry, sell me, buy me, buy me, buy me. And all of a sudden, we got a, we got a sniper team. All of a sudden, we got a sniper team. I should keep the strawberry, actually. Watch this. Oh. You snipe me? Try to snipe me? I'd rather snipe you. We're gonna lose this one anyway. (laughs) 
so be it. I've been eating a lot of berries because my kid eats a lot of berries. Berries are definitely great, man. Not a food for the faint of heart as a result of their prodigious price tag. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. After, after everything we've been through. Pure sugar? Brother is fruit. You know what you sound like whenever you say like strawberries have too much sugar? You see that subreddit that's called like, um, I didn't have eggs. And it's all people leaving one star reviews of recipes where they didn't actually cook the recipe. They made a substitution in the recipe and then it sucked. And then they gave the review as if they made it verbatim. Like the, the one that went viral was like for carrot cake. And then it said, yuck, carrots have too much sugar. I used a cup of shredded kale instead. Well, my cake came out like not sweet and gummy. And you're like, yeah, that's why you use carrots, man. You see, or the one that was like, it was a recipe for mold wine. And they were like, this wine was too sour. Yuck, it tasted like vinegar. And then the reply from the original author was like, just so you know, you're supposed to use apple cider, as it says in the recipe, not apple cider vinegar. They, they use like two cups of vinegar plus a bottle of wine. Like, it's just, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> or the one that, uh, it was like, you're supposed to use a teaspoon of chili paste. And then the lady gave it a one-star review and said it was too spicy. Her husband was crying when he was eating it. It turns out she used two and a half cups. Two and a, a, a teaspoon is 15 milliliters. Two and a half cups is 625 milliliters. It's like 50 times the dose. My God. She was trying to kill him. It's, it seems, and these people vote. That's the scary thing or something. I don't know. Tree frog emu can be an interesting endeavor. We can talk about it. Hang on. Why don't you take a strawberry for now, too? I think that, I think that the puffin can get us out of this. Or the one that gave it a one-star review for a recipe and said, just so you know, this recipe isn't very friendly to people who have like, they have to have low oxalate diets. And then the author was like, this isn't a low oxalate recipe. It's just, people are going, they're losing their damn minds out there, man. Give me, give me some of this. We're looking for a tree frog. I'm on two life. I'm not gonna get where I need to go on this run. This weekly was made for hedgehogs. So you're not even using them. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm all like, I'm I'm antiquated. I'm I'm still running on like Monday uh, strategies for a Friday weekly. So like I'm I'm definitely a little scared. Come on, give me a stoat. Thank you so much. You gave me a stoat. You didn't give me what I want on level up. Sell the stoat. See what you get out of that. Hamster gives you one gold per roll. Okay, roll me. Roll me. I w I'm going to have to say, at this point, sell me. Buy a crocodile instead. I'm going to say sell me. And I'm going to put a... You got two triggers left. I'm going to put a, a snake out here. I know this makes our puffin worse, but to be honest, our puffin wasn't getting us there to begin with. You're going to probably attack. You're going to move up one. You're going to get a couple triggers. You could also get sold. No, I don't have enough gold to reroll. Okay, that, I should have used that earlier. Get your sloth yet? Um, I didn't really play much of this weekly, honestly. Just just due to circumstances in my life. Ho! Oh! Five wins. Respectable. I would roll. That's a roll in my world. Still a role in my world. For now, like, because we, 
We're kind of stuck with the lad for a minute. Oh my God, the double, the double croc sniper. It's like you, you have to get a lioness and at the same time I can't afford a lioness. You snipe me, I snipe you. You move up to the front, you snipe me, I snipe you, and we're still winning. 1-1 one, one hamster kind of goes hard. Well, it's just like, because of the emu, it doesn't really matter what our snake is behind. I would say freeze me, roll me. Freeze me, roll me. Might as well, just, just buy him early. See what you get, nothing, nothing of value. Roll me, you got one trigger left, roll me. Sell me, buy me, sell me, place me, buff me. If the lioness is going to get us there, that, it, it actually had to be that. So I appreciate what you've done for me. But we really, we got to amp it up real quick. <laughs> I don't think we're getting there, but... Four snipers on their squad? I'm completely dead and they lived with one HP. The world is so fucked. <laughs> so... <laughs> Motherfucker. Sure, 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 sure. Sell me. I don't like these animals. Roll me. It's almost like even worse if they have a mosquito. Mm, I'll be like a folded sock. Imagine going over to somebody's house, opening up their, like, dresser, and realizing they're a sock folder instead of a sock roller. That'd be weird. You'd be like, what are they doing? Who does either? I'm a sock roller. I mean, rolling the, roll the socks just feels right. I put him inside the other sock. That's what I mean. That's like that you that you're a roller. We're not so different, you and I. Baller, roller, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's, you know, a rose by any other name would sound as sweet. Weasel goes crazy here. I feel like I'm stupid, but I can't refuse the stoat. Because the potential payout of the stoat is so funny. If you can get a level 2 or level 3 stoat, sell it when you get tier 6s, and then it spits out a lioness, you're golden. But what it always does is it spits out like a fucking 1-1, one, one, I don't even know, just 1-1 one, one oyster or something like that, and you're like, what am I doing? I'm going to do this. Two cost, one one buff, stoat me. And I, the pig doesn't have to live anymore. Oyster wouldn't be too bad. It's really bad for econ. Because your ass spent like 30 gold getting the stoat to level 3. Okay, you got me. So then you sell your level 3 stoat and you get 10 coins back from the oyster and then you got an empty space on your squad where your level 3 used to be. It gives you gold when you need it. I don't want gold though, I want stats. Ten coins later is better. You guys are crazy. You've lost your damn mind. If you want to give me $21 right now, and then in ten rounds, I'll give you $10 and pay it back, I'll take that loan any day of the week. Isn't there like 8% inflation in SAP? Like the gold isn't worth as much as it used to be? That isn't how it works. This is a video game. Maybe for you. You princes of Maine. You kings of New England. Not for me. This is my life. Hey, Shog Noble, thanks for the 2100 bits. Really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I, how do I, I... Do you have wealth, simple cash? It's kind of hard to, as a Canadian, it's harder than it should be to, uh, harder than it should be to give money back to Americans. If you're, if you're two Canadians, it's no problem. Interact, e-transfer, wealth, simple cash. 
$5 bill with a hockey pond on it. If you have to give money to an American, it's really hard. Because, I mean, you could use PayPal, but I don't like... It's just a pain in the butt, man. Go into PayPal, make sure you type in their email address 100% perfectly. Then it's like, are you buying something or paying for goods and services? And you're like, I don't know. I don't want them to get like audited by the IRS for like this $40 repayment or whatever. But I like, I also don't want to pay two pal 2% just to send it. Like PayPal's literally not doing anything in the process. Here's a solution. Your solution is ass. Well, you know what my actual solution is, is that I don't find myself in debt to Americans. That's my solution. I, I don't think the crow is the ticket this week. You got to go, though. You're, you're obviously horrendous. PayPal in San Francisco is basically like a never-ending frat party where everybody earns $500,000 salaries because their business is just free money. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, I get that it's also just kind of like the bank. That's why I was so offended when there was that banking crisis earlier this year. I was like, how could you be out of business? You're the bank. I get, oh, you don't understand that now is duration risk. They got a lot of liquidity when rates were super low. And of course, as you, when you have cash, you, the cash wants to generate a yield so they put it into like treasuries that were yielding 25 basis points and then when the environment changed and the liquidity got pulled out yeah yeah but you don't but you but you don't do anything you don't people give you money for nothing all you have to do is manage your duration risk that's it man and you you screwed that up you're the place where people give their money for free And you couldn't even handle that? Don't get into the streaming business. It's too tough for you. It's the second easiest business on the planet. Next to banking. This is the ticket right here. You're good enough as far as I'm concerned to keep us alive for a minute. Nah. You know what? Could be fun. You forgot about FinDom? Well, I think that that's reasonably, well, and let's not say reasonably tough necessarily, but I think it's tougher than streaming or banking. Because they could be giving their money to anyone. There's plenty of people out there in the FinDom industry, I'm sure. You know, you got lots of competition. In Canada, there's five banks. That's, I mean, the, Canada didn't have a banking crisis this year, so maybe that's <laughs> maybe it's because there's an oligopoly. Nah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I go to five or six banks when you could stop at just one. That's true. I mean, you could stop at just one. Unlike Lay's potato chips. TD Bank goes hard. Wow, tell me you're a TD stand without telling me you're... Well, I guess you told me you were a TD stand by telling me you were a TD stand now that I think about it. I don't... They all suck. I went with... I, my progression in life, I banked with whoever my parents banked with as a kid. Then when I went to university, I looked up who had the ATMs on campus and I switched my savings account to that bank. So when I took money out of the ATM, I didn't get charged $3 for having a different bank every single time. Then when I got out of university, I went back to the bank my parents were with and I've been with them ever since. Even though at some point my parents swapped banks. They were like, just so you know, we're swapping banks because we're not happy with our service. And I was like, all right. I am happy with my service, but you do you. Which one? I'm not telling you that shit. It's privileged information. You absolutely have to do this because it's funny. And then, no, 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 I have to wait on you for a second. Okay, so sell me. You generate some cash for me. 
NL, why are you NBA pilled now? Listen, don't even start with me, okay? Did you see the post that was like, which of these teams of first, uh, first overall draft picks would win? 90s, 2000s, 2010s. Listen, let's start with the obvious. 2010s has no shot, okay? A lot of the players that were drafted first overall in the 2010s, they just haven't panned out. They haven't had enough time to pan out yet. You know, Zion Williamson's only in like year three and he's preoccupied. Everybody's saying 90s. You guys are crazy. Yeah, I know they got Shaquille O'Neal. I know they got Allen Iverson. But the rest of the squad, except maybe Tim Duncan, they're washed, man. They're washed. 2000s win. LeBron James. Yao Ming. Who else was it? Dwight Howard. Those are three pretty tall dudes. How are you supposed to beat those, those tall dudes? D Rose, exactly. And I'm thinking it's D Rose in his prime, probably. Not D Rose, like, you know, now. No disrespect intended. Terrible take. I'm telling you, here's the thing. They play them out. I'm thinking that 2010s win zero games. If they play 10 games, 2000s take seven, 90s take three. Probably because 2000s would win the first six, they'd probably take the rest of the series off. What about Andrea Bargnani? <laughs> what about Andrea Bargnani? Toronto Raptors first overall. Toronto Raptors legend Andrea Bargnani. Edmonton Oilers legend Niall Yakupov. Okay, my whole squad is dead. That's not that unsurprising, honestly. Now, here's where things pop off. First off, the sell of the century. Oh! Okay. Oh! That's what you want. And then, try not to die. Which probably involves tigers and crocodiles. Is my expe oh, my expectation. <laughs> okay. Who would you take overall? First overall, Taylor Hall or Nail Yakupov? Well, I mean, like, here's the thing. If I was making the choice at the 2012 draft, it's not they weren't in the same draft, but anyway. If I was making the choice, I'm not I'm obviously I'm gonna get Yakupov. He was the consensus number one. But if you're pitting Hall and Yakupov against one another. Come on, man. What is Yakupov has like 100 games played in his entire career? Taylor Hall's been bounced around, but he's a, a one-time Hart Trophy winner. He's played for like, you know, 12 years or something like that. He's been kicked out of every bar in Kingston, Ontario. It's, it's the easiest choice of my life. I think I have to... I, I think I have to sell... This is crazy, but buy... I needed the parrot. Give me the parrot. Sell the anglerfish. Run the parrot here. I'm like, sell the lioness. No, 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 no. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. A steak might come in handy here. And for now, give me this, but we want you next time. We need to not die on this round. And then the freaking lionesses are going to go crazy. When are you using the Lansford, North Dakota? Brother, you don't want to get me started on this. <laughs> you, you, you know that I did see the conversation. Oh, get old. So what was the conversation? There is a class of people out there that for whatever reason are real estate. I don't want to say bubble deniers because I don't want to use the B word. They're, they deny the idea that real estate is more expensive relatively now than it was 30 years ago for whatever reason because it doesn't serve them well okay regardless this was someone who said here's a house you can buy for 100 and, uh, for fifteen thousand dollars in lansford north dakota sure it needs a little bit of fixing up but literally like they're like the average job in lansford north dakota pays like forty thousand dollars a year so after tax you could pay it off in one year all of the replies were like, 
I don't want to live in Lansford, North Dakota, though. It's 45 minutes away from a town whose downtown has one coffee shop and a community center. Then they would reply, the original poster would always reply, hey, there's nothing wrong with living in a small town. Their words, not mine. Once you get out of your get, let's get crunk phase, it can be nice to have land and settle down. Sure, that's true. Then people said, I, I mean, I shouldn't say it's true. I should say I agree with that to some extent, but I think they're making, they're, they're not responding to the argument in question, which is basically that like, you know, some houses cost less because they the house sucks and the place that they are is not desirable otherwise the price would go up because of supply and demand also they were like we don't want to live with you in lansford north dakota and this guy was like oh i don't live in lansford north dakota then why is your ass proselytizing lansford north dakota like literally you're saying it's not even good enough for me to live there it's like population 934 or something like that. That dude didn't even live there, but he was like, hey, quit complaining about the fact that in any population center with over like 100,000 people in the United States, houses cost like 40 times the annual salary pre-tax. You could just go live in Lansford, North Dakota instead, like me, except I don't even live there. Doesn't, doesn't make any damn... 200 people is not even 900 people? Your ass got to connect to the internet via Starlink? Like, I, I don't know why people, like, I guess I, it's because it feels good online when people agree with you. I, I was going to say, like, I don't understand why people online will just make, like, unforced errors like that. Oh my god, their squad is just mine but better. Did you see where he said that Homeschooling is the way to go, and doctors were overrated. Listen, I didn't see that. I think that there was kind of like a, an inference there that that was what was happening. But now listen, this is the tricky part. Because at some point, it's like, you got to go. But I think we win this round. I think we win this. I'm betting on us. How did he get from the NBA to this? Somebody asked. That's how I got there. Listen, it's, it's not false to say that you can, as you get older, what you desire out of a residence changes. Your idea of a, a good neighborhood might be more based on things like, are the schools here good? Is there a good grocery store nearby? Is this walkable? It might be less like, I don't know. I was going to say, like, are, what's the nightlife like? But that's even, like, kind of insulting because I'm sure there's lots of young people out there who are like, I don't base where I live on the nightlife. I base where I live on, you know, what's the nicest neighborhood that my ass can afford? It's fair to say, though, that your priorities change as you get older. At the same time, if Lansford, North Dakota was a nice place to live, more than 200 people would live there. This is supply and demand, brother. You gotta go. Your ass doesn't have to go yet. But at some point, you gotta go. Can I do that? I think I can do that. I'm not insulting North Dakota. The pictures that they showed of North Dakota were beautiful. But I'm just saying you didn't show a $15,000 house in like another city in North Dakota that I could definitely name. He was talking about Lansford, okay? I can't combine. I can't, I can't combine them. I can't combine them. Listen, we're already so close to chilling out max and relaxing all cool. You actually have to go, and you're not even being replaced with the lioness. You're being replaced with something that's actually useful. I just don't like when people are like, 
There's no such thing as like real estate being too expensive. You just have to want it more. And then they go to like Zillow and sort low to high. And then they're like, check out this crack house in a place where nobody lives. There's a reason why. <laughs> sure, I get the idea that like, it's annoying to hear that like houses are expensive and you're like, where are you looking? And you're like downtown Manhattan, but like that's where people want to live. And they're just complaining. Like you, you don't have to, you don't have to make it like part of your identity. Let me think about this. You guys all stink. I hate you. You're a stud. And I hope People tell you that every day. Not interested. Not interested. Technically sure it's one gold. I don't, I, don't, I don't give two shakes of a lamb's tail. You should stay closer to the front because you're a stud. And just take a stake just in case. I doubt it'll, rele it'll be relevant, but... Like, my thing is always, like, if you live in Lansford, North Dakota, or a town like it, and living in Lansford, North Dakota is, like, so fulfilling, then you shouldn't be online arguing with people that are trying to buy a house in San Francisco, because that happens to be where their job is. You should be out enjoying the acreage that you bought or something like that, not posting, like, life here is so good, I'm saving so much money, um... You are a fool and an idiot, because why are you... They're out eating tuna tataki tacos and, you know, having a fun time. Your ass is arguing online. It's a bad... If you really love the place where you live, it's a bad advertisement for it. Because your ass isn't doing anything except getting rankled online. Although, maybe it's if you don't want people to move there then it's good to make people that live there seem insufferable. But if you want the value of your house to increase, you should be out there going like, everybody move to Lansford. We just got the cafe service food now. People will be like, holy shit, I got to go to Lansford, man. The, the coffee shop sells sandwiches. This is why you were shit-talking Sook to fucking A&W ass having Sook audacity to say there's two distinct municipalities, Sook and East Sook. Sook has 21,000 people. East Sook has four people. That's seceded for some reason. We like Coffee Way more than we like Tim Hortons. Okay, make your own fucking <laughs> principality. See if I care. <laughs> I'm thinking. Nah. Well, nah. You're not sniping my units. They're too strong for you, traveler. Nah. It's not, I'm not even interested. I'm not even inter it, this is how messed up it is. I'm not even interested in you. I want another crocodile. I would run you. I would, yeah, 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 yeah. I would run you. Yeah, for sure. But I gotta, listen, we need another crocodile in order to make this work, though. You're gonna buy me, sell me. You're going to place me. You're a 4646 is good in and of itself. Your placement is fine. I needed another crocodile. You've screwed me. <clears throat> I'm taking a big risk here, Fokker. No crocodile, okay. This seems scary, but completely fine. I guess that means not scary, now that I think about it. NL doesn't see stats. He's just match three pilled in his burned out brain. I'm winning, motherfucker. Shut up. <laughs> you didn't replace your 2523 tiger that doubles the efficacy of your crocodile with a 4450 sauropod that doesn't fucking do anything. Relax, Poindexter. Everything's fine. You got nothing to worry about. Some of this. Roll me. See, now I actually... I'm pissed off because now I think you're in the right. Now I think you actually do sell the tiger and you just throw a level one crocodile back here, but... 
probably move that back one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We probably don't draw, but just in case. Why not combine? Simple economics. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. My brain's a little fried. Hey! <laughs> Ten wins. Who cares? Streamers rule. Chat drools. Thanks for the freebie. That was all thanks to the stoat. Oh, yes. How about a precious package? I'm the stoat goat. So true. Kim Petrus. You see Obama post his summertime uh, playlist? And then one of the members of Boy Genius called him a war criminal? <laughs> yes, I did see that. I was just checking. I'm a millennial. I thought it was cool at first when Obama posted his reading list and his, his summer jams. Because you're like, he's just like us. But now I'm like, there is a part of me, and I think everybody agrees, which is like, why? Who cares? <laughs> like, I just don't understand. It, why do I need to know that this year he, Obama's been bumping Celebration by Cool and the Gang? It's completely irrelevant. Bro, you were the president. Can you tweet something like of merit? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> why do I need to know anyone's opinion? Well, I just, I'd like to think that people would put my ass on blast if I paid someone to build, like, a fucking graphic that's like, here's my summer jam, and it had, like, a pastel kaleidoscope thing behind it. And, like, I think you would be like, why are you taking yourself so fucking seriously? Or why, maybe why not take yourself a little bit more seriously? You used to be the, the leader of the free world, and now you're like, check it out, I'm listening to BB Adoobie or something like that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, why, why are you posting it? Who cares either way? Oh, we're just having fun. Our CEO shared his summer playlist with the company today. It had eight songs on it. That's so good. I can't imagine for what purpose, but... <laughs> this is going to seem like a crazy move, but this ladybug's not long for this world either. All chain smokers. No, they're all, uh, I am rectangular, I feel no hole. Michael Scott vibes? Well, I honestly feel like, yes, the CEO sharing his summer playlist is, is Michael Scott vibes. But I also feel like Obama sharing his summer playlist is Michael Scott vibes. Like, can you imagine what kind of, and I, I was going to use harsher language, but can you imagine... Bumping some tracks at home, and then your spouse is like, what's this? And then you're like, oh, this is Obama, Barack Obama's 2023 Summer Jam playlist. Like, what kind of person is like, I gotta go home and build like a Spotify playlist immediately and bump this shit in the kitchen? Like, it's... <laughs> Why are you listening to uh, Car Wash, a song that came out 44 years ago? Oh, um, <laughs> Barack Obama just rizzed up Car Wash on his Summer Jams playlist. So, honestly, I think I'm getting in, I'm getting in pretty early here. It's just weird, man. Oh, you think he's getting paid by Spotify? All right, I love that for him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell you and buff Sea Urchin. I'm on a Sea Urchin diet. I see Urchin, I buy it. I'm gonna honestly I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell everything on the squad right now. Yeah, 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 you're all gone. Certainly don't really care about another hummingbird. Getting a lot of plus twos. Getting a scary amount of plus twos here. I would pass on all these. I don't think they're any good, quite frankly. What's your Peloton jams for this year? Um if I was gonna make a summer jam playlist. Here's, here's the Summer Jam playlist right now, okay? Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover by Sophie B. Hawkins. 
just like, hev- just like heaven by the cure. Folks, let me be clear. I'll respect you if, if the police is on it. See, the, Malf can verify this, by the way. Um, Frick the Police is not on my Summer Jam playlist, but I did have an NWA poster in my room in my third and fourth year of um, university. Because I was bumping straight out of Compton pretty much like every day. And skipping like seven of the tracks, but not the good ones. That's so funny. Why is it funny that I like good music? Why would you be surprised that I, that I listen to NWA? Because you're bald and pale? Harassed and racist? I'm going to call a drone strike. Sorry, I'm still in, I'm just doing my Obama impression still. <laughs> I forgot. It. Hey, hey, we'll go. We're, okay, uh, folks, I'm leaving now. All right, okay. Here we are. I'm back. What did I miss? You know what? Sell me... Hello, Mouth, by the way. Hello. I think we want something like this. This little ditty. Hmm. Sure, for now. And then I need an emu on level up, please. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse, quite frankly. And yet we're still going to win. And yet we're still going to lose. <laughs> no, we're still going to do it all. We're still going to lose. <laughs> Your ass is horrendous. You suck. You stink. Okay, how about a, a, a level up here? I don't think alpaca's that good. I think that you're pretty good. Silver fox is supposed to be at the... Maybe, maybe like... Oh, but the urchin begs to be at the front, man. The urchin begs to be at the front. I think we want it like this. I think this will go hard enough. We're, it doesn't even matter because we're going to get crushed by snipers on this round anyway. Please tell me we at least draw. Confirm draw. Okay. <laughs> You're going to see Barbie or Oppenheimer? Listen. I'm bald and pale. I'm not going to see either of them. Because we don't have like a babysitter. If I was going... I would like to see both of them. If I was going to see one of them this weekend, it would probably be Oppenheimer. Because I know what it's about and I like predictable stories. I don't know what's going on in Barbie. It doesn't threaten me. It just isn't my pack one, pick one. Plus, science is on my side. Not just because Oppenheimer is a scientist, but also because it has a higher meta score and the higher Rotten Tomatoes firmness rating. As a result, the objectively right choice is to see Oppenheimer. So... It is crazy to me that people keep tweeting insane stuff about Oppenheimer, though. They're like, the only way to see this movie is in IMAX, Dolby Atmos, you know, with subway surfers on the one side of the screen. Bro, it literally took place at a time when everything was black and white. And you want, you want me to roll out the red carpet to see it? It doesn't make any sense. People are saying it's the number two Chris Nolan movie right now. Yeah, but like a lot of people saying that have Dunkirk as their number one. That's not my, uh, that's not my tempo. Dunkirk is actually, <laughs> and this is not a, a good opinion, but it is true to myself. Dunkirk is my least favorite Christopher Nolan movie I've ever seen. Nobody has short-term memory loss. Nobody travels through time. Uh, nobody gets does a heist five layers of dreams deep. Nobody dons a bat suit or anything like that. Yeah, 
Nobody goes into outer space with a cool robot that looks like this. You know what I mean? I don't like... I, well, I still... I thought Dunkirk was good. But it's not at my ideal kind of Chris Nolan. I like the Chris Nolan stuff that he makes for, like, smart 12-year-olds. Anyway, where is I going with this one? <laughs> I don't like the movies that he makes for um, British people who were alive for the Second World War. I like the ones that he makes for people who grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. Tenant number one on your list? Nah, man. You gotta be honest. Like, this is not a... Again, this is not a cool guy take in 2023. Number one is The Dark Knight. Now, I'm not, like... That cape shit pilled, especially for DC stuff. So, like, both The Dark Knight Rises and Batman Begin slip down the list. It's not like it goes Dark Knight Begins, Dark Knight Rises. It probably goes, like, Dark Knight. Then for me, it's, like, Inception. For me, for me, it's Inception. The Prestige, Memento... Interstellar, Dunkirk. Can I say something? Is, 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 uh, wait, I forgot Tenet. Tenet's above Dunkirk for sure, but below Interstellar. Maybe above Interstellar, I don't know. Here's some shit that's going to fuck with you, okay? Batman Begins is a better movie than The Dark Knight Rises but I am going to put The Dark Knight Rises higher on my list because Batman Begins is kind of boring. Movies to watch Subway Surfers in the Corner too. I don't like, you know why? Because for me, half of the Batman movie appeal is the villain. Joker, great villain. Dark Knight Rises, not a great movie. Bane, pretty good villain. Tom Hardy did a, a funny job at the very least. And I don't even, I've seen Batman Begins like three times. He, I don't even know what he does. He's just a guy. He's just a nefarious guy. He's spooky. He's got bad, bad vibes. What about the Scarecrow though? Yeah, but the Scarecrow's in the movie. He's like the, the red herring. He's like, he's the bad guy. And then afterwards, they're like, no, actually, it's Liam Neeson in a suit you know, moving money through Swiss bank accounts or something like that. I'm not want that. I want a dude who's like half crocodile or something like that. <laughs> I want a dude who like can transform into mud or, you know, something like that. I don't want just a guy who's like, I have, I carry a lot of power I project into the world. It's fucking, you're fighting the dude in the bat suit. Be made of clay. Okay. What was I doing here? I'm sorry, I need... I should be playing more sap. Don't get me talking about Christopher Nolan, okay? Don't even get me started. He's econ-pilled. What about Matthew Nolan? Is that the Nolan brother who's in prison for, like, killing somebody? For being a hitman? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Roll me. Have I ever gotten a level 3 Silver Fox victory? No, maybe. Maybe today's the day. Oh, I don't even think it's like that good, but it's funny. Um... At some point, we're going to want a tiger, but we can, like, wait around. You know what we need? We need freaking chocolate, man. An ancient man? What if Liam Neeson in The Dark Knight, or sorry, in Batman Begins was made of clay? Well, you don't need me to tell you that that would make the movie better. You got eyes.
Thanks for the money, Lebowski. He literally was, though. He's not, because he would have been forged in the fire at Wayne Manor. Instead, he was killed, except not really. If he was made of clay, then they would have gone back into Wayne Manor and like sifted through the ashes, and there would have been like Liam Neeson's, Neeson's face on like a pot or like a vase or something like that. And you'd be like, you know, Batman would have put like the flowers from his parents' grave in the vase, and that would have faded to black and been the end of the movie. He was literally made of clay. What are you talking? You know what drives it? People are saying this is how it works in the comics. I know you're trolling me, okay? But the video of every clip I see of The Flash is against my will, and it always causes so many questions to rise up in my brain. The, the clip that I saw last night of the hospital falling over and the maternity ward uh, gets tipped and all the babies fall out of the window, okay? So they're falling to their death. And then the Flash is like, I'm going to save them. And uh, he looks at, he's going super speed. And he looks at like one of the babies and is about to get like pierced by glass. And then there's another baby that's literally falling into like a, a jet of pure flame. And it, it, like all of the babies are in peril. There's like 10 of them. And then the dude just goes to the vending machine and punches the vending machine and starts eating Twix bars. So many of the replies were like, why is he eating snacks instead of saving the babies? And then, blue check fucking, you know, sorry, sorry, I call it like I see it, was like, in the comics, whenever the Flash enters super speed, he needs, his metabolism also proportionally enters super speed, so he needs to eat a lot of, okay, really, for him to run at the speed of light, he needs to eat eight chocolate bars. Well, that's the way it worked in the comics. So these are movies that real people are going to see, okay? It's not like a checklist that's like, does this fulfill all of the baseline rubric criteria from the cut? Like, this is entertainment for mass audiences, man. Because that's what I'm saying. He should have just eaten the babies. <laughs> or one of them, and then the sacrifice of the few for the good of the many. No way he could digest it that fast. His metabolism speeds up proportionally. So apparently, if you run 100 million times faster than the average person, you need to eat 10 times as much food. I don't make the rules. I'm not Jack Kirby. You'd know that if you read The Flash, issue 91 from 1973, where he and Invisible Girl get into uh, hijinks together. Sorry, I thought, I, I thought in the modern era, you could just pay $100 for a movie ticket and see like a two-hour movie that stands on its own two legs. Apparently not. You need, like, so butt-fucked with context from, like, a hundred years of other media that you had to see in order to understand what's going on at all. Anyway, sorry, I'm playing sad. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the fact that every single shot looks like you're about to take control of your character in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Okay. We, I mean, you just, this is how you bail out. I, I sell you, you buy a crocodile. I sell you, you buy a tiger. Nah. I'm looking for some chocolate, please. Chocolate. Some chocolate, please. Another lioness. You're forcing my hand, Fokker. Sell me. Sauropod piece of crap. Another lioness. Sure, take one of these. I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm not, certainly not happy. You know what? Ice cream makes everything better. Mmm, pineapple, so good. Did you see that Pinky Doll is making $7,000 a day on TikTok Lives, plus an extra four to $5,000 in OnlyFans signups? It's honestly aspirational. Okay, take your level. Good for her? That's what I'm saying. Did she pay you for this? No, she's taken over media just by the power of her presence. What is this? 
Holy. <laughs> oh, but then I couldn't. Mm, I see. I see the problem here. Okay, how about this? And then that. Then we'll get a level three next time. Maybe a little parrot. Maybe a little parrot to take you out. What does that mean to play us out? Did you see her talking to her kid and she's French Canadian? She's your people? I don't think I'm French Canadian. I know I have a French Canadian last name. But I was trying to think of like, I, I've never done like an ancestry.com or something like that. Um, but I was thinking about how I could have a French last name but not be French. And I was thinking like, I bet, here's how I think it went down. You gotta go back like, uh, like eight generations there was like a French guy, pure French, all the way down. But then he married someone that was 0% French. They got married. They had a son who's 50% French, 50% something else. Then that son, because he retains the name in our primogenitor male-driven culture, Married another person who is like 0% French. Like, I think the only the name got passed down 100%, but the genes got halved at, at every generation. I don't think I'm French. I think my name is French. I think I'm like 2.5% French. And 97.5% Australian. Do people at the airport talk to you in French because of your last name? All the time. Yes, they do. Hang on, this is an important role. Never mind, it's useless. Um, I don't know about this one. They do always hit me with a, a bonjour followed by a bunch of stuff that I should understand but don't. Um, and then I look at them with a vacant stare and they say oh he's an anglophone and then they say nothing else at all they just usher me through the gate in disdain seat me right next to the lavatory and <laughs> take turns punching me in the face until i pass out well you know what they say it's a living it's my fault for being born english honestly this weekly sucks. Listen you, listen, you. Shut up. It doesn't suck. It's just different. Sure. I, the thing that drives me crazy is people are like, this weekly sucks. You either go early snipers or you go late lionesses. That's every weekly. Okay? You either go, oh, it's you, by the time you get to Friday, it's either like early team buffalo or it's like, oh, you go snipers, you know, or you go summoning. You know, there's this, this is a good weekly because it's different. I'm not letting you be a hater. You built the same team every time? Yeah, because I've only done two runs because I've been talking about the Flash the whole time. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not Scooty's fault. That's my fault. It is great for badge hunting too. Not that I've been hunting too many badges, but... Because a win is the most important badge to me, personally. No, I'll send them. So true, King. You're all dead. And yet I lived. If you could add an animal based solely on the animal, what would it be? Tough question. I'm going to say dog. No, fuck. Um, elephant. I think... Check this out. You, you, you're tired of seeing the same squad every time? <laughs> I was supposed to go on the snake. Oh, <laughs> whoo, sheesh. Uh, sell the parrot, buy an anglerfish. Sell the anglerfish, buy a parrot. Holy, look at that move right there. Now that was, now that was something. 
innovative. Circular gaming? It's not circular gaming. I doubled the stats of the of the parrot. It's the best I've done on a Friday for a long time. Guess who's sap? Sap again? Egg is sap. Tell a friend. So true. Folks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Is that a reference to um, John Keats? I'm bald and pale, so I'm not familiar with all this, these so-called rap artists. I think rap is crap, personally. It doesn't take any talent, it's just talking. You know what takes talent is, is singing a tune that'll bend your ear, something like, Camp Town Races, sing this song, do-da, do-da. Camp Town Races, 10 miles long, all the live long day. Oh, I've never had a level three lioness win? Is such a thing even possible? Says the guy who can't sing. Excuse me, the streets are saying that I can sing now. How about a sizzling gibbon? They are. The streets are saying I can, I can sing. I'm not saying I agree. I'm just saying it's what the streets are saying. I don't want a blueberry. I do want you though. Yeah, 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 this is the way. Mandalorian, <laughs> classic. What street, Sesame Street? There's some good songs on Sesame Street, so I take your joke and I substitute my own. I'm not talking about sunny day, sweeping the clouds away, on my way to where the air is sweet. Won't you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? I'm talking about uh, Billy Porter, Friends with the Penguin. I am certainly not talking about... Um, I mean, if, listen, I know that Common is a very beloved rapper, and I, I got some love for Common's early to mid discography, but he did make the corniest song in Sesame Street history. The one that is um, Belly Breathe. Hang on, I don't know, this might get DMCA'd. Wait, it's on PBS. Your tax is paid for this. I should be able to play it. Belly Breathe Sesame Street song. Eight hundred and twenty-seven views three years ago. Sometimes the monster that's inside you is a monster that is mad. It's a monster who is angry. It's a monster who feels bad. Brother, you wrote I used to love her. Listen to this flow, dude. What happened? When your monster wants to throw things and your monster wants to shout. There's a way to calm your monster and chill your inner monster out. Anyway, you get the idea. Maybe, maybe you don't. We'll make you make a mad monster face. And any place in <laughs> your mad monster may appear at any time in any place. And that mad monster will make you make a mad monster face. He makes you want to push. He makes you want to shove. There's a way to calm that monster. Bring out the monster love. It's so, like, not... He's just, he's beneath him. As long, I'm not saying being on Sesame Street is beneath a serious artist. I'm just saying he, he needed to bring he needed to bring something a little bit more serious, man. Like that's just He's cracked. What are you he's not cracked? I'm sorry, he's not He's not. I, I wish that it was it was different, but it isn't. 
Oh, man. What do you want him to do? Well, d- dude, you want to... D- while we're here, hang on. Oh, they, you can't make a good song on Sesame Street? Okay. How about Billy Porter, Friends with a Penguin? Hi. Want to play tag? Are you hearing this? So give it a try. Compared to what, what Common's putting out there? Your mad monster may appear at any time or any place, and that mad monster may make you make a mad monster face. It makes you want to push. It makes you want to shove. There's a way to calm your monster. Bring the monster love. Belly breathe. breathe do, 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 do. You know, like it's just. I don't know if he wrote the song also. Like, I don't know if maybe the Sesame Street writers came to him and said, like, this is the song we got for you. In which case, like, I apologize to Common. I'm just saying, like, it's lower than the level I would expect a Common track to be at. Ooh, pill me. I know this looks like a crazy pill, but I believe it. I believe in it. You need to take the L on that one? The song is horrible, brother. It's so bad that Obama put it on his summer playlist, okay? Let me be clear. <laughs> I am mad. Appeal to authority, technically. It's an inverted appeal to authority, so it's not a fallacy. Chat really be like, F you, you idiot, you suck and you're stupid. And then I'm like, you're mean. And they're like, that's an ad hominem attack. <laughs> Logical fallacy. Okay, I think you do something. I know I'm building the same squad every time. If you got an issue, here's a tissue. I think we can afford this. We're doing great. We got four life remaining. I don't care, I don't care for a swan this week. I just happen to have one. What a shot, brother. What a shot. Out of the presidents, Obama probably has a top 10 taste in music. Brother, there's like four living presidents, for one. Secondly, every president is in office for like four to eight years, but usually the incumbents tend to win. So as a result, you know, you're talking to literally 10 presidents at a minimum gives you an 80-year window. Probably, let's just split the difference and say 60 years. Nobody had good taste in music before 1950 that much. Well, okay, listen. If you were in the Mississippi Delta, maybe you had a good taste of music in like 1927. But for the rest, everybody else in the world was just listening to whatever happened to be in the elevator at the time, okay? Good music only started to exist around maybe 1961. So it's not, of course, I, every living president is top 10 taste in music. Joe Biden strikes me as having surprisingly good taste in music for a man of his advanced age. Like, they, like to the point where you would be like, I believe that a publicist made up this list for him. Like I could see Joe Biden name dropping Japanese breakfast and people being like, what? Now, Donald Trump, I don't think he listens to music. I simply can't imagine Donald Trump being in his house and being like, I'm going to put on a song. Maybe it <laughs> it's happened before. I just can't. I can't picture him being at home and cooking dinner and being like, I want to listen to something while I chop these vegetables. <laughs> Obviously, Obama listens to music. Um, George W. Bush, I bet he has normal taste in music. Bill Clinton loves saxophone music, of course. George H.W. Bush, his favorite song was Belly Breathe by Common, so we don't take that seriously. 
Friend faints. Push the last enemy to the front. Maybe, maybe you give me a second here. You're gone. You're gone. You're here. You're here. You're here. Somebody's getting pilled. Nobody's getting pilled. Somebody's getting pilled. You're getting pilled. Are you getting pilled on the, the dopest stoat I ever smoked? Apparently so. Oh, stoat me! Stoat man! Buys a stoat each time he can sell me! It became level three lioness stone man. <laughs> is that even how it goes? Oh, it's Friday. It's the first full work week I've had in a while. Oh. What a classic. I don't know. This could be funny. F yeah, keep it going. Everyone loves a song parody that has no punchline but is funny just because it rhymes, right? My tree frog. If you became president, would your taste in music change? No, I would like to think that absolute power wouldn't corrupt me absolutely. I think I'd just be like the same guy, probably. You? You'd probably change. Me? I think I'd just... I'd stay true to myself, I think. I wouldn't let that such a huge change in circumstance alter my behavior or whatever. You know what? Strong lad there. Strong lad, I gotta hand it to you. Oh, I don't have to hand it to you. Mom said I don't have to hand it to you anymore. All right, you got me. Are we we drew? You gotta get sold. Don't be a lame. You know the game and how it goes. We trying to get so. You know. What I, listen, I'm gonna. You have my word here. Three wins round nine. We will not go lioness. Okay. Mostly because we have 10 minutes left. We can't afford for this one to go too much longer. So let's, we're going all in right now. You're selling me. We're running a taper at the front. Level three stoat. Sell me. Level three crocodile is madness. It's Lin sanity. You come out here. Buy me. Sell me. Give me a freaking parrot, you piece of junk. I'm, I'm overpaying for chocolate. Tiger's also kind of cracked. Come out here. Do something. Holy. I won? You're right, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get in. You're probably gonna get sniped anyway, but I gotta send you out there. I gotta try something. You spawn you spawn a level two lad on death taper? Level one level two copy? Listen, I don't think it's particularly good, but we're running something a little different this time because I got cyber bullied for being too good. My squad? Your squad? Alright, we won again. Is level two stoat really better than level... Is level three stoat really better than level two stoat when you consider the only scaling in the pack is lioness? Get in, loser. We're going shopping. I don't know what you're talking about with all your arithmetic and stuff like that. Super Auto Pets? Twitch TV? What are you talking about? It's the day before Woodstock 99. We're going to have a fun time and experience a once-in-a-lifetime music festival that is going to uh, unite our generation in a feeling of togetherness, just like it did for our parents. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Can you give me something? I'm... 
You summon a level 2 Andy. I don't even know what level 2 I'd like to see, but... Oh, wow! Level 3 Stoat gives higher dopamine. That's damn true. It might be the most true thing that you've ever said. Also, we won again. <laughs> no, we didn't! How did we not... How? How? The taper didn't get a trigger? Team Wood Games? Team Wood Games? Oh, there's no dudes to summon because the rest of the squad was yeeted. So true. You know what? That just means that we need to give you one of these. So true. Nice snipe. <laughs> oh, what? Hang on. No, nice snipe. <laughs> oh, man. How often do you skibbity in the toilet? You, it's, uh, the question doesn't make sense. You, the skibbity is out of the toilet. That's what's such a problem. That's why cameraman's trying to put the skibbity back in. You don't skibbity in the toilet. It's, it's, it's only a skibbity when there's skibbity out of the toilet. Good shot, kid. Good shot. We're not making it out of this one, that's for sure. Thoughts on the new skibbity toilet app? Never seen it. Never seen it. Quite frankly. I have to wait for somebody to port it to Twitter. What am I supposed to do with this information? I got, I got nothing, man! I should have taken a lioness. I'm so stupid. Thoughts on toilets in general? Top 30 invention in the history of mankind, probably. Did I ever tell you that my friend had a... Uh, a burning hatred for Bill Gates before it became cool, and then also became uncool simultaneously. Bill Gates has got to be one of those guys where if you hate him, you have to make sure you articulate your reasons why. <laughs> you meet somebody and you bond over the fact that you both hate Bill Gates. You're like, wait, because he's taking credit for making self-composting uh, toilets, right? Even though... They don't actually work that well. And they're like, no, nah, brother, because of the microchips. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> or they might be like, I just don't like him because he's rich. And I'd be like, okay, that's, you know, more power to you, I guess. That was why my friend hated him was the toilet thing. This documentary came out that was like, um, Bill Gates was like, I'm saving the world from stinky poops that are disease-ridden. And I watched it, and I was, this was like seven or eight years ago. And I was like, this guy is a hero. I was telling my friend about it, and he's, he's a wastewater engineer, and he's like, Bill Gates is a charlatan. The toilets, he makes a big show of going down there and installing the toilets, showing everybody how they work. They don't work. For a fraction of the money, they could just make a manual composting toilet that didn't rely on all this stuff that they... Uh, can't actually, like, make for themselves over there. Like, they just... Anyway. Why does he sound like Trump? I, he's my best friend, President Donald J. Trump. You know why? Because I prime myself with, like, Bill... Sad little Bill. Whether he's making toilets that don't compost or operating systems that are objectively worse than the one that came before or flying into little St. James at the behest of his mutual friend Jeffrey Epstein... If he came to me and begged on his hands and knees for me to <laughs> provide sanctions on Linux, I would do it. Not bad. Honestly, the impression changes every day. Today's was pretty good, all things considered. Slash marker me. Sap. Didn't even get an act three today, huh? Didn't even get an act three. With Chibli, Chibli. <laughs> Sorry. 
I heard Hoover do a, an impression of Trump saying Chibli, and it just, it fit in my brain. Sweet little Chibli. We love our Chibli, don't we, folks? Yes, we do. We love our Chibli. We don't understand them all the time. Nobody does. But we love him. It is more like Bane, isn't it? You know why I'm here? Cactus Jack sent me! Now it's Agent Smith. Now that's me, 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 me. Donald Trump as Agent Smith. This is the end game of comedy. <laughs> Me, 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 folks. People. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> you guys remember when humanity lived in that cave and we didn't see outside? We only saw the shadows on the wall that were cast by the light of the sun. We thought it was the real world because our frame of reference was so small. We didn't realize that it was merely a representation of what was happening in the real world. That what you're telling me that's not literal? That wasn't a literal thing that happened? I thought that was like the first humans. Like Plato's age. Like they got out of the cave and they were like, whoa, snap. <laughs> like when you go to a restaurant that you've been to many times and then you look, you're at the front desk and you're like, oh, maybe we should go someplace else. It looks really busy. I don't think there's a table. And then the hostess goes, yeah, we've got some room upstairs. And you're like, upstairs? I thought that was residential, sister. And then they take you up and then they're like, there's just one thing about sitting upstairs. You can't get fajitas because we can't get insured for the servers to carry the sizzling trays up the staircase. And you're like, well, the whole reason I came was for the fajitas. I gotta get like a damn chimichanga or something like that. Would you be able to paint better paintings than the cavemen painted? Have you ever seen those paintings? They are, they suck really bad. I'm not blaming them because the people who made the paintings must have been the best painters in the caveman days. But like, I could, I could paint better than that. No doubt about it. No, you couldn't? I super could. There's no doubt about it. What about your picture for the Binding of Isaac Four Souls, though? We don't talk about that. That's, that's still an open wound, brother. Every once in a while, I'll see like a <laughs> tweet that's like, I don't get added in the tweet, but someone goes, uh, my... Kickstarter edition of Four Souls arrived. What the hell is this card? And then someone sees it and adds me, and I'm like, oh, brother. <laughs> the story of that is that I don't know how to draw is the first part. And then the second part is Edmund said, hey, just do a quick little uh, stick drawing of brimstone that we can use as an Easter egg for Four Souls. It'll be a lot of fun. And then I did a quick stick figure drawing of brimstone and I sent it to him and he said not that casual like can you maybe submit a final draft instead of a rough draft and then I just drew the same thing a little bigger and he was like I, I guess it's okay <laughs> it is funny Every once in a while I see the art and I'm like, man, it, it does suck ass. Like, it's, there's no redeeming element to the art whatsoever. It's, it's so bad. You know what? It looks like one of those, like, uh, those, like, political cartoons that can't get their message across with just the pictures, so they have to write the message on the cartoon. It'll be like a... Like an old man trying to order a coffee, but he can't order it because he's trying to order a large and nobody knows what large means in 2023. So they do like a thought bubble that's like, what the hell happened to us? That is what my, my brimstone picture looks like. Holy. I can't believe this artwork comes with such a strong card. Looks like someone needed a bit more practice on Gardic phone. WTF. 
Is this a modified art card? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Let's see the quote tweets on that one. It's beautiful. The legend himself. And then one private quote tweet, I'm sure. Oh, man. I mean, it looks horrible. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I can't deny that. Oh, man. Whew. Let me see if my wife is ready to stream. She may not be. She just got home. Hello. Are you ready to stream? No problem. If not, I can keep them busy. I was telling my wife, so yes, if you weren't here yesterday, she had an allergic reaction to a mosquito bite. I know like every reaction to a mosquito bite is an allergic reaction, but she had like a big one. Like her knee was swollen up to like the size of like a mandarin orange and it's hot to the touch and she was putting ice packs on it like all night, even throughout sleepy time. Can I tell you, we as a, I don't get behind too many causes here, okay, folks? We don't get behind too many causes here, just the worthy ones. We need to start a campaign to change the name of the syndrome of being hyper allergic to mosquito bites because it is not dignified. I had food poisoning. It was called Salmonella and Campylobacter illness due to foodborne disease. That's like a thousand words. It saved part of my dignity. My wife is having a reaction to a mosquito bite. It's called the Skeeter syndrome. We need to change this. We need to name it after the scientist who discovered it or something. We need to come up with a, we need to go back to Greek and make, call it like mosquito ditis or something like that. It, it, it's crazy, man. It's not dignified. Anyway, that's basically all I got. <laughs> My dad has a shoulder thing and it's called Milwaukee shoulder. Milwaukee shoulder. Milwaukee shoulder refers to a destructive shoulder arthropathy due to a deposition of hydroxapatite crystals. Holy cow. That's one. I'm glad they call that one Milwaukee shoulder because I don't know what any of those words mean. They chose the right name for that. Milwaukee shoulder. I'm sorry. Let, first, let me see how serious this is. No specific treatment is available. Only support it. This isn't the kind of thing that kills you, right? It just is painful. It's still not, what I'm about to say is not nice, but it said epidemiology, Milwaukee shoulder frequently affects older women. Sorry, I didn't write it. This is, this is from radio, radiopedia.org. They're the ones who took a shot at your dad, okay? Your dad's an old woman. <laughs> Can't get him off the stage. What is the Limmy clip, Limmy? Your da wanks on all fours. <laughs> God, this clip is so good, man. It's this 30 fucking quid. Blumpkin Prince sticks to the 30 quid. Your dad wanks on all fours. That's actually against T.O. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Family thinks to three quid. Oh, man. It's so good. I love the top comment, too. Wow, his chat is something else. No lulls or omega lulls. Just straight up. Ha, 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 ha. Not even full caps like it was just mildly funny. And they're not even all gray names. First time I've seen a whole chat not using emotes to express themselves. Oh, man. That's so funny. Can somebody translate? English is not my first language. Your dad wanks on all fours. So good. Ooh. 
Okay, Kate is live. I will send you over there. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will... I don't know, I can't stop talking like this, maybe on Monday. This is how we'll all talk from now on. What do you think? It's very satisfying. It doesn't even sound like him anymore. I'm just yelling. I'm just... I am rectangular. <laughs> Sorry. I feel no hope.